What is going on, Shrimp Keepers? Oh, I'm out of breath. I'm getting there, though. We're here. I got Emma drinking some water. I got Ruby here. Look what happened to Ruby. Oh, <laughs> she's got a, she's got to wear a little diaper, which I mean, I went and got her real diapers, but uh, <laughs> she, uh, she's got a little kid underwear on for now. Uh, she's turned into a, a big puppy. And so you guys know what happens with that. So hopefully the next time uh, we'll breed her with a miniature poodle and that our miniature doodle and I uh, will have all that going on. So good girl. Let me turn off that. Um, hopefully you guys are having a great uh, Black Friday. I got my little mints here. I got two bottles of water. I am ready to go. Um, shout out to everyone who's here. Sorry. You guys know I've been running a little late lately. And I apologize for that. We got Mark St. John in the house. What's going on, Mark? <laughs> uh, Richard Huss said, let's get it rolling. Who said August said late? Uh Forseca Coral says late. <laughs> I agree. More than five yawns. Everyone's taking bets on how much I'm going to yawn tonight. I'm going to prove you all wrong. But uh, my thought is we're just going to hang out tonight. We're going to do some Q&A, uh, answer some stuff. Of course, we have Black Friday rolling. Hopefully, you guys went out there and didn't spend too much money. Um, so there's always that. Um, my guess is one per minute, yawns per minute. That's hilarious. Uh, let's see who's here first. As far as I can read, Nudie172. <laughs> that's a terrible name. Um, <laughs> uh, so it was 172 was here first. Uh, going to be able to make this live stream. Yay. So that's awesome. Glad you can make it. Um, ready for them good deals and giveaways. Amen. I always get there early and then miss when it starts. Roma. Oh, Chris Roma. That's my buddy, though. All right, so we got a lot going on today. Um, first of all, it is Black Friday. This whole weekend, uh, we are running a 17% off sale on everything on the website. So last week, we did 20% off shrimp, so everyone stocked up on shrimp. And uh, we actually sold out of a lot of stuff. So you'll see on the website some uh, shrimp are already sold out. Um, but we do have, like, the, the basic stuff left. Like, I actually think we have some Galaxy Pintos left, which I, I thought those would sell quick. Um but most of the hard goods are all the hard goods are on sale this weekend. Um, let me look over at my other screen. We actually have. Let me go to the Flip Aquatics website. I know what we're trying to do this year is we're trying to do some doorbusters, and so every day we're going to have new doorbusters. Um, if you go to the website, you should see Black Friday doorbusters, which I'll just share my screen for you guys. It's always easier when I do that. We'll get this stuff out of the way, and then, then we'll talk about what, what's been going on today. You guys are going to love it. Um, share screen. Here we go. All right, so you go to my website, uh, flipaquatics.com, and this is what you'll normally see. Um, we kind of changed up the labels up here. We got some. We're kind of gearing up for new stuff, uh, but this is what we had. It's called Black Friday Doorbusters, and we're going to be changing these um, every single day. So today... Um, we got some new products up here. Uh, we want to see what you guys thought of them. Uh, I'm in love with them, so I hope you guys are in love with them. So what we did with the doorbusters is we did 20% off doorbusters, and then you get an additional 17% off when you check out. Um, so you get 17% off this price, like uh, Koya Wood. Uh, that always sells really good for us. Um, it went from $2.50 to $1.99. Um, Lazy and Driftwood's on sale. Um, this is some of the new stuff we added, like Spiderwood. This stuff is awesome. Uh, we really got some very, very unique pieces. Let's see if it'll pull up. Yeah. It, I mean, the cool thing about this stuff, we use this a lot in our aquariums, um, or we're starting to use it more. Um, because what I found is this stuff uh, molds, and it isn't actually mold, it's, it's biofilm, but you'll get this like white foam all around um, all the different uh, uh, branches of it. And uh, that's from the sap uh, seeping out of it, and then it turns to biofilm, or it kind of molds more or less. And uh, and then uh, the shrimp eat that, and it turns into a really, really good food. Um, the other type of driftwood we got in, uh, which we haven't had this before either, as you can see, the the, the clock, the countdown. Um, this is called mapani wood. It's a really, really hard wood. 
Um, it lasts for forever. And um, it basically leaches tons of tans in the water. So if you're looking for tannins, this is the type of wood that you want. Um, it just got really unique character. It usually, which I wish we had a picture. Here we go. It has like this black marbling, like, oh, it's so pretty. And uh, we got in a lot of this because I'm in love with it. I'm going to start using it in our tanks. And uh, it's just really, really cool stuff. Um, some really interesting character to it. And so we have that on sale. And then back to Black Friday. Um, this is probably, well, we have Dragonstone, Carved Lava Rock, and Siru Stone. Or Siri Stone, or however people want to say it. Um, this stuff is my favorite by look, but it will drastically uh, change the pH and the hardness of your water. And so you got to watch out for that. But I mean, just some absolutely beautiful pieces. And then we wanted to try um, some what you see is what you get pieces. And, uh, and I feel like that worked out really good. I don't know which ones are left or not. Um, let me see. You can go down here and like see all this. But anyway, these are all on sale for 20% off. And then you get the 17% off that. Um, so if you're in the market for any of this stuff, uh, it's definitely decent deals on it for, uh, for Black Friday. But so that's what we got with that. And then, like I said, we redid the menu, but we can get to all that later. Um, but we are giving stuff away tonight. So I've been promising you guys literally for forever for t-shirts. Um, <laughs> whoa, we got Dustin's fish tanks in the house. What is going on, Dustin? Um, Dustin is also running a big sale this weekend. Uh, I think everything on his site is 30% off, um, which he'll, he'll link up that in the chat, I'm sure. Um, his discount code. So if you guys are in the market for plants or anything like that, he's running 30% off. And I think Corey, Corey's actually aquarium co-op. Um, he's running 17% off like I am. And his coupon code is the same as mine. So it's both, both of our codes is thanks 17. Uh, so super easy to remember. And so if you guys definitely check those two people out and uh, see if there's anything good that, uh, that you, you can look at. <laughs> Dustin had fake dragonstone. Now Dustin's got real dragonstone. Oh, I was looking at that. Why can't I see the door busters on your site? You know, I'm not sure. I will here. What I'll do is I will share the link um, down in the description of the video. I'll do that right now. Um, so if you guys, for whatever reason, can't see the door busters, um, let me put it a link down below. If it'll let me. Okay. So here in one second, save changes. All right, so right now, if you go down below um, in the description, you will be able to see all of our door busters, and it's going to change every day. Um, like today, it's the driftwood um, and some of the stuff like that. And then it's also, um, it is also, uh, yeah, I lost my train of thought. I saw a funny comment. Uh, but anyway, we got the driftwood and the stone on Black Friday sale today. Um, so definitely, if you guys want, take advantage of that. Um, you know, it supports us, which is huge. And uh, we definitely really appreciate it. And so we uh, we are just hanging out on a, on a Friday. And like I said, we will be giving away t-shirts today. We finally have the t-shirts in stock. Now this is a purple shirt. This one was a special order. Uh, oh, I see Ollie Taylor's in the house. What's going on, Ollie? I call him Oli. Oli Taylor. <laughs> Oli Chicklets. <laughs> My man. Um, I met Ollie at the Aquatic Experience this year, and uh, he is just, I mean, him and Laura are just amazing people, so it was cool hanging out with them. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to see you guys at next year's Aquatic Experience. Um, we're really going to do it up more and uh, and really, really, really have fun with it. So that's what we're planning on. Um, so we got, oh my gosh, a lot going on. So it is going to be a really action-packed 2018 next year. And, uh, and I'm really excited for it. Um, I know we have grown so much in 2017. Um, good girl, Ruby. We've literally grown so much, um, which is a huge blessing. Uh, you guys know that you, know, you got to give glory where it belongs. Um, so we have that going on. And it's just, uh, it, I mean, it comes down to you guys. You guys support us so much and, uh, and really, really appreciate everything you guys do for us. Um, so Dan C just said, do you have three X's? Uh, we are actually getting in a larger order of like the three, four, and even five X um, just for people that, you know, need those sizes. I know, I think we're sold out of smalls too. Um, those, those went really quick for whatever reason. And so I'm going to get better at ordering stuff, ordering shirts at least, because this was our first order of shirts. So 
we're definitely going to get in some uh, different sizes. So you guys, if there's a certain size you want, you can actually go to the page, um, which I think is under merchandise. Uh, let me see. It's under supplies. So if you go to supplies, you should see the Flip Aquatics T-shirt there, um, and then you can uh, you can order it there. If you go to it, it should come up with a pop up and say like you know remind me when this item comes back in stock, um, something like that. Let's see, I don't know. Maybe that app isn't working. I'll have to get it fixed. <laughs> but anyway, we will be back in stock. Uh, with some larger sizes here. But um, let's see what everyone's talking about. Uh, Ollie Taylor said, just got through doing tank chores. They're not doing amazing, but they're getting through. Have a couple of berry shrimp, just hoping we see the precious babies. Uh, Ollie, well, at least you're, you're, you're breeding some shrimp, man. That is huge news. Um, hopefully they don't drop the babies and hopefully they don't die. I know you're having problems with that. Um, so huge, huge luck. Um, for you, man. I hope hopefully it goes well. Uh, B St. John, which is Marcus. Uh, Marcus is always hanging out the shop with us, does a lot of our maintenance and things like that. He said, giving t-shirts away and I still don't have any. I work with you. Uh, B St. John, we got a t-shirt for you, man. As long as you can squeeze in an XL, I will give it to you. If not, I'm going to be ordering new shirts soon and hopefully some different colors because um, the Jeff really wanted purple for whatever reason. I don't know. Um, that's his favorite color, so I got it for him. And then, uh, and then Ken wanted navy blue, and so I got navy blue for him. And uh, and so I got I got one each of those shirts. So they're uh, we're probably gonna get some pretty neat colors. Um, I'm excited. Um, what else do we have going on? So we added a ton of new products to the website. Um, we'll get to that later. And I got to figure out how we're gonna give away t-shirts. Um, I really don't know. Maybe I'll just do a discount code, and the first five people to enter the discount code will get them. Um, hey, that actually sounds like a decent idea. Um, maybe I'll do five different discount codes, and then I'll, I'll say them in chat, and the first person to check out will get a free T-shirt. Um, I actually think that is a really good idea. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write it down so I don't forget. You like my pen? It's my wife's. <laughs> discount four t-shirts um dustin said that driftwood is fat i'm surprised dustin has the night off his wife uh, and kids are gone he's just kind of hanging out um alfana tusaki uh did the cookie from ae taste good i actually ate it um not too long ago which probably means that it was stale um but yeah, it wasn't bad at all. That uh, that cookie definitely went down nicely. <laughs> uh, Orange Eyes Tigers, which should I order? Import or USA Bread? I don't think we have USA Bread ones right now. Um, I would go with Importer. We've had the Orange Eyes Tigers for hmm, three months now, maybe something like that. So they're they're definitely quarantined and and doing well, KTs. So I, I would. I mean, if you're if you're on the fence, I would definitely go with it. They they've been doing really well for us. Uh, Tori Cook said at Flip Aquatics, "Hey, I've got a tank with cherries, and my tap water is 35 TDS. I've got it up to around eight, 200 with crushed coral. Do you think that this is high enough? Yes, 200 is perfect. Um, what I would recommend, though, is test your GH and KH because those are really really important parameters to know." Um, GH is most important and KH is pretty important. Um, so we actually just started, now this is not a plug, I'm just telling you guys. Um, we just started selling test kits on our website. Um, it's under supplies and we actually sell the AP um, GH and KH test kit just because I recommend it all the time. And uh, people are like, well, where, where can I get it from you? And I'm like, no, <laughs> I don't have it. So we finally have it. Um, so we got that going on. Uh, Miss, let me see. Miss Lineter uh, said, Dustin told me to ask you, what is the best substrate for Neos? Um, the best substrate for Neocaridina, in my opinion, um, I would say is pool filter sand, just because it's so cheap. And uh, you can get it from a pool or spa, spa dealership. It's looking for Ruby. I don't know where she went. And uh, you can get it from a pool or spa dealership. 
and uh and it will be <laughs> oh, sorry i keep reading comments and they make me laugh uh pool filter stand is best for neos get it from a pool or spa dealership it is ten dollars for 50 pounds dirt cheap um other than that i would do like carib c sand something like that if you want a different color um they have a bunch of different colors but who said aqua what's going on uh winds aquarium what's going on glad you guys can make it uh we were just kind of hanging out um and i'm um, talking black friday so uh, i got some cool stuff for black friday um, you guys, if you've been watching my live streams, I broke my monitor. Um, I broke it. Like we were unloading the van and something fell on the monitor screen and like shattered it and then it didn't work. And so I was only, I only had one screen, which, you know, isn't that big of a deal. You know, one screen for a computer is fine. But once you have two screens and you're so used to like working on this screen and then working on that screen and having stuff up over here, but working over there, um, it, it stinks to go back to one monitor. So I went out Black Friday shopping at Best Buy yesterday, picked up two monitors. Now I got matching monitors, which, um, you know, makes work really easy. And they're actually meant to be monitors. Like the other ones were actually like TVs. And so I got that. And uh, Mark Richo Richards said, will you send to Australia, Rob? I can probably send a T-shirt to Australia. Um, I could probably do that for you. Um, I think it would get through. Um, fish and shrimp by rice said, are you going to do a four hour live stream? So, um, <laughs> I didn't want to commit to it, but I will probably be on here for a long time. Like I just plan on spending my Friday, just hanging out, maybe talking about some new products that we added, why we added them. Um, what's going on with the, the website, what we have going, like, you know, just kind of hanging out, no rush, you know, not, not too much going on. Um, <laughs> Let's see. Chris just messaged me. Oh, he was talking about before we started. He said they're getting restless in, in your live chat. Ruby. I hear her eating something. And that is not a good thing because I'm the only one home. Um, <laughs> Give me one second just to go check on her real quick. And I'm going to lock her up here. Ruby. Ruby, come. Ruby, come. 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 Oh, come here. So that's how you get a dog to come. Good girl. Now you lay down. She, uh, she's been feisty lately. I don't know why. Well, I mean, I have a guess why, but she's been feisty lately, so... I've been uh, loving on her extra special, and she's been extra lovey, too, so that's always a good thing. Um, any of the, you that have dogs, you guys know um, how it is. Lars K, dropping a $2 Super Chat. Thank you so much, Lars. Um, you guys, you don't have to drop Super Chats. You guys support me so much already. Um, but when you do, we really, really appreciate it. Um, me and the Flip Aquatics team. Uh, because it, it does go to good use, and, and it is it is a blessing. So thank you so much, Lars. Um, Lars asks, when do you know when shrimp are ready to breed? So um, the best way to know is once you start seeing females with saddles, um, because as they hit maturity, they're going to start gaining saddles on their back. Um, and any shrimp, you can tell if it has a saddle. All you do is you put it in a clear cup, shine a light underneath it, and look down at it, and you will tell if it has a saddle or not. If you don't know what a saddle is, it's like right on their back between their front section and their tail. Um, that little spot. Ruby. Ruby, you stay in here, honey. She keeps trying to go on search. But anyway, so a saddle is one way to tell. Um, if you start seeing your shrimp swimming sporadically around the aquarium, uh, it means they're getting ready to breed or it means that something's wrong with your water. So that one can go either way. Um, but there is a... A lot of a lot of ways you can tell. Um, you know, once they start hitting sexual maturity, you'll start seeing the skirt develop on the females, which the bottom of their tail develops a nice little curve, and that's a protective um, protective shield for the baby shrimp when they carry them. And so, uh, so there's some there's some stuff to do there. Uh, Bill MC said my GH and KH are fine, but my TDS is 144. What should I do? Um, so I would ask Bill, what is your T or what is your GH and what is your KH? Um, because sometimes, you know, people say they're fine, but they, they aren't always fine. 
Um, if your GH and KH are fine, then I would say just leave it. Um, Missouri is a product. Um, it's actually a product line and they sell a product called TDS up, which puts minerals in the water that just rages TDS and not GH and KH. Um, so some people use that. So there's definitely some ways to go about it. Um, okay. <laughs> Aquaholic said, what's the shirt deal? So, um, I'm going to be giving away some t-shirts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a discount code. Uh, just me talking to you guys. And then the first person to put the discount code in and check out on our website, we'll get a t-shirt free. Um, no strings attached. We'll cover shipping. We'll do everything like that. Um, so we're going to do that probably here in a little bit. Um, because I promised you guys long ago that I would give you free t-shirts. So now it's actually coming true and I'm giving away probably five, um, as a, uh, as a, uh, oh my gosh, as a sorry for being so delayed on getting them to you. But we finally have them, so yes. Um, do you freshwater people use RODI units for your water too? Um, Fonseca corals, we actually do. Um, I know I do, but uh, it depends. Um not everyone does. I do just because I don't want the risk of, you know, um, the city, you know, having a bacteria bloom or treating the water with like extra um, carbon or not carbonate, um, chlorine or chloramine or whatever. Um, you know, I just don't want to take the risk. So I use RO water all the time. Um, who said aqua said, what would you recommend the best plant substrate for shrimp that doesn't alter pH besides pool sand? So that's a good question. Um, I would probably recommend um, fluorite. Um, I know when I had it, it's secam fluorite. It's really, really pretty in my opinion. And uh, when I had it, I don't believe it affected the pH whatsoever. Um, I never tested it, but I use it for neos and they bred really, really well. I actually bred uh, yellow neos in it. Um, so I would say they, they do really well with that. Um, but you know, that would be my guess. I'm sure other people have different opinions. So good question though. Emily Bennett said, I'm considering eventually getting some shrimp and some micro crabs. Are there certain shrimp that will cohabitate with the crabs? So we personally keep our crabs with tangerine tigers and they do really well together. They both like the same parameters. Um, and tangerine tigers are actually extremely pretty, uh, at least in my opinion, they're orange. So I would suggest tangerine tires just because we're already doing it, but it's also for you, or it's also up to you. Um, Susan SLC Aquatics says, Rob, I shared your website at SLC Aquatics on Facebook. Happy Black Friday. See you later. Thank you so much, Susan. Um, I appreciate your support and uh, and getting our website out there. That always helps. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Roma Aquatics, what did you do? Uh, yo, I love you, Rob. Don't tell my wife. <laughs> so Roma went and got some more shrimp today. Um, at least he did an unboxing of shrimp. I don't know when he actually got them. Um, Ruby's hitting the bell to go outside, uh, which I better text my wife and see where she's at. Um, my wife has been out shopping all day, uh, which probably means that she got some really nice presents. Um, hopefully got me something really nice. But it also means that she spent some money, which if you guys are married, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but, you know, she's happy. She enjoyed it. She actually went with my mom, um, which them spending time together is a good thing. Um, you know, they enjoy it, and it's good that they have uh, they have fun together. But some in-laws don't get along, so it's good that my wife and my mom and my dad get along really good. Are you coming home soon? Maybe we'll try to get my mom and uh, Amanda into a live stream. Now that is a good idea. Um, let's see. Ego Complete is a good substrate, uh, not alters parameters. So I know Lucas Bretts. Uh... Hi, Emma. What was that? Come on up here. Say hi to everybody. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, Emma, come here. Oh. Look, are you? <laughs> Emma is the best dog in the whole world. Like, hey, see, she's just a lover. Good girl, go ahead on there and lay down. Go lay down. Go on. 
Um, I love Golden Doodles. I know it's completely off topic, um, but Golden Doodles are the bomb.com. They don't shed their hypoallergenic or, yeah, I think that's how you say it. Um, so they are just such a good dog. And their temperament is awesome. Like, they're really good with kids. Um, I know our dog, Ruby, is really good with my niece, um, June. <laughs> Ruby's ringing the bell. Poor thing. But I can't go let her out. Um, <laughs> Roma Quiet says, got them today. I didn't have a ton of fries, bit, but it's it's at the LFS. Yeah. Oh, geez, Emma. If you don't know what LFS is, it stands for Local Fish Store. Um, CMPI82 said, Rob, how's your throat been? It actually is feeling a lot better. Um, so I think we figured out what it was. Um, I was on a steroid for a while. I was on antibiotics and nothing was healing my throat. And uh, we found out it's probably acid reflux. And it was like making sores in my throat, making it hurt really bad, making it swell up. Um, so I've been on some medicine then some heartburn medicine and uh and i'm starting to feel a lot better um so thanks for asking uh, amanda and mom are conspiring against you they might be you never know um let's see rob how do i get a wife to love the hobby as much as me so uh mark that is a great question some people just will never love the hobby it's uh it just is what it is um I would say the best you can do is you can keep your tanks looking spectacular and not talk about them all the time. Because I know one thing burns out wives more than anything else, and it's when you talk about it all the time, like the hobby. And so that's what uh, happened to me. Dwayne's yelling at me to go let Ruby out. Um, so I will. The only thing, I'm just worried that she's on her, she's in heat. And I don't want some dog getting into our backyard if I'm not watching her. But let me go let her out real quick. I'll be right back. All right, now I'm out of breath. I'm running up and down the steps so quick. <laughs> free, <laughs> hashtag free Ruby. That is the funniest thing that I have ever seen. <clears throat> Man, I'm exhausted now. <laughs> oh, thank you, Dwayne. Thank you for the positive feedback. Um. Um, Veta FX says, in comparison to your old videos, I see you have been lifting. Um, so I wouldn't say I've been really lifting. I've definitely been gaining weight. Uh, mares will do that to you. And so, uh, so that, that is what it is. Um, happy, happy husband means lots of food, I guess. So I'm definitely a happy husband that eats a ton. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so Mary Beth, Mabe, uh, Ruby is in heat. So that's why I was a little worried to leave her outside because last thing I needed is some boy dog jump in the fence and, uh, you know, then we'd have puppies on the way, which would not be good. Um, Tanya Ramirez says, purchased plant fertilizer with liquid. Oh, I got seen. <coughs> oh, man, sorry, guys. That was brutal. <laughs> Let's see, uh, purchase plant fertilizer that had copper in it. How can I ensure all the copper gets removed from substrate plants, wood, et cetera? Um, do I need to scrap all or just wash and cycle for a while? So um, I forget, somebody gave me a remedy uh, to get rid of uh, copper out of a tank, but I'm not sure what it is. As long as your plant fertilizer didn't have a ton of copper in it, I would say that you would be okay. Um, a little bit of copper will not kill invertebrates, surprisingly. They are extremely sensitive to it, but a little bit will not kill them. 
Um, so what you can do, which I think is a really good idea, have the tank set up, or if it's already set up, good. Um, get a t copper test kit and see if there's any copper in the water still. And uh, that way you would have peace of mind. But that's what I would do. And if there's tons of copper still in it, I would scrap the whole tank and start over again. Um, just because tanks are so cheap that they did the dollar per gallon sale. Um, but yeah, so that's what I would do. Ollie Taylor, my buddy. Um, shout out to you and Laura. Uh, hope you've enjoyed the chocolate oranges. Haha, <laughs> love to you and Amanda. Put this money uh, in the UK tour fund. Yes, yeah, so we are going to the UK. Um, I'm thinking next year we're going to go. Uh, me and Amanda would love to go. We're going to spend some time with Ollie and Laura. Uh, we're going to travel around, do some meetups. Uh, we're going to do a lot of uh, fish room videos, um, also pet store videos. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but Ollie, those chocolate oranges, man, we literally ate them all within a week. Like that's that that is where this gut comes from. Uh, those chocolate oranges definitely um, put a hurting on us. But thank you so much for your support, man. Really, really appreciate you. Um, and Laura, shout out to Laura too. So uh, yeah, those uh those chocolate oranges went quick. If you guys have never had a chocolate orange, oh, like the best, the absolute best chocolate I've ever had. It is literally shaped like an orange. It breaks into pieces like an orange. You can take a little sliver of it. Oh, it is amazing. Um, <laughs> but um, that is what it is. Quick check. Ruby's fine for a little bit. I left her out there for like an hour this morning, and she was fine. Um, I will check on her in a little bit, though. Hopefully, Amanda will be home soon. But it doesn't look good for that happening. Ollie messaged me. Let's see. Oh, that's a long one. I'll have to read that later. Sorry, Ollie. <laughs> um, convert the wife. So back to the wife conversation. Like, how do you get your wife or your husband to like the hobby if they don't like it? Um, so what I would do, like if Amanda did not like the hobby at all, what I would do is I would set up a tank. I would do it exactly how she wanted it. Um, fill it in with some beautiful plants, get the fish that she thought was pretty. Um, take the best care of it and make that tank like look pristine all the time. And eventually, hopefully, she would be like, oh, my gosh, like we should do this and be like, well, honey, how about you learn how to do this part of it or do that part of it and slowly start roping them in. Because if you go too strong at first, like that is not going to be a good thing. Um, you got to slowly rope them in. And so that's what I would do. But luckily, um, Amanda is hardcore to shrimp. So. It's really good for me. Uh, Melissa Bell said, do you offer a mixed shrimp package? I personally do not. Um, they call that the Skittle package or the Skrittle. <laughs> uh, and that's just with a bunch of mixed Neos. The reason we do not offer that uh, is just because a lot of people think they're cool and then all of a sudden they get brown shrimp and then they're upset. Um, so it's one of those things I would rather not have it if people are going to be upset at all. I always want people to be 100% happy with it. Um, and Kahnemans, 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 I don't know. Um, how do we use the Black Friday coupon? Does it work for all shrimp? Um, so, yeah, the Black Friday coupon is thanks17, all one word. It's down in the description. Um, it works for everything on the website, even the Black Friday, like, exclusive deals, uh, which are the ones that we talked about early in the video, which I'll show those again in a bit. Um, so what you do is you put everything in your cart. And then you go to checkout, and as soon as you get to checkout, there's a place on the top right of the screen, and that's where you apply the discount. And once you type it in and hit apply discount, it will take the percentage off, um, and then you'd be good to go. So that's one way to do it. Um, let's see here. Um, let's give away a T-shirt. So let me make a coupon code. I want to do – oops, wrong place. So what I'm going to do – is in a couple minutes, I'm gonna make it real quick, um, but in a couple minutes, I'm gonna give away one free t-shirt, and all you have to do is you go to uh, you go to our website, um, you will add a Flip Aquatics t-shirt to your cart, you will apply the discount, and you will check out, and the first person that does it gets a free t-shirt. Um, if it won't apply, then that means somebody beat you to it. So. You have to go to our website, and I will actually share the link in the check. Let me see. Um, let me make the discount first. 
This is going to be fun. I'm excited to see how fast it goes through. Um, um, limit number of times this can be used. Okay. Oops. I need to do select product. This is going to be good. Okay, so you guys better be ready for uh, the free t-shirt. Okay, so let me share the link for you guys in case some people can't find it. Okay, so I'm typing the link in the chat now, which will be a little bit of a delay. And... Uh, do you know when the next dollar per gallon sale is? I actually do not know when the next dollar per gallon sale is, to be honest. Would love to see a video on how you set up remineralizing RO water. I can definitely do that, uh, Neon Tetra. That's a, that's actually a good idea. Or actually, that was Sean that said that. Neon Tetra said, the, do you know when the next dollar per gallon sale is? And who said Aqua said, what's some good fish to keep with red cherry shrimp? Um, I would do chili res boards or pygmy quarries. Those would be my two choices. Or CPDs. CPDs would eat the babies, though. But I love them. Okay, so let me make sure this discount is working. Okay. So the the discount code for a free T-shirt is free T one. So it's F-R-E-E-T-1, all one word. Um, the first person to use it gets a free T-shirt, free shipping, all that jazz. Um, you just have to go place the order on Flip Aquatics website. And uh, let me show you guys how you would do it in case you missed this first one. Um, let's see. Let me share. So this is the Flip Aquatics T-shirt. Um, I really didn't have any good pictures, so it's just me uh, with my aquarium co-op hat on, and then me, my wife, my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, and then all you do is you go, I want a medium shirt, I want a large shirt, let me add a large, and then you go here to the shopping cart, actually we're already there, check out, and then you do free tea, the one, and then apply, and then I could actually get it right now since nobody else took advantage of it. But I'm not going to do that. So whoever gets that first uh, is going to be the winner, and they get a free T-shirt. So that's how you could do it. Um, uh, Fonseca Coral says, Flip Aquatics, you have any plans on setting up a saltwater tank? So, um, <laughs> so I personally do not i actually have a buddy ken who does salt water for me and uh and he does all the salt water and i get to watch it um and so uh so yeah ken is my uh my go-to guy when it comes to salt water so let's see if somebody got it yet no nobody used it yet nobody people must not want a free t-shirt my goodness Everyone, Dwayne said I caught mine at AE. That is true. <laughs> Darn it. Ollie, that's so funny. You went to go get it. Oh, you got one too already. You're crazy. That's funny. I'll go get it myself. Oh, it looks like two people placed it at the same time. So two people got it. Which I guess that we learned out that that can happen now. So two people got a free T-shirt. Um, Edward got the first one, and Emily got the second one. Um, so we'll have to do it again in a little bit. But that's good though. So we got two uses out of it. Good stuff. So good. Let's see if it came through on my side. Awesome. So 
Edward and Emily, thank you guys so much. Congratulations to you. Um, you both won a free t-shirt, even though I don't know how two people got it instead of one. Um, but we will do it again in like an hour or so and give away some more t-shirts. Um, because as long as we give away five, it doesn't matter when we give them away. Um, <laughs> Denise said, I try to get it. Um, Cecilia said, it's gone. Uh, yeah, Edward got it and Emily got it. Congratulations to both of you. What else we got going on? So let's see if we got some new products. Um, so let's see. Let me share my screen again. Um, so that's what we got going on. I know we are sold out of all the bigger sizes. I apologize. Uh, we will be getting we will be getting another shipment in soon. Um, screen one. So this is what we got. Again, this way you guys should be seen. But I don't know if you actually are. Um, let's see what I want to talk about. So driftwood. We're gonna go to all driftwood. Um, we did get some new stuff in. First of all, some of the new things we got in. First of all, Katapa logs. Um, so Katapa Logs are a Tantora product, which is a really great brand um, that we use a lot for leaves and things like that. So basically what they are is they're hollowed out um, Katapa branches, more or less. Um, and Katapa is, what is it? It is a, um, it's like Katapa leaves, Indian almond leaves. So it's basically an Indian almond leaf tree uh, or an Indian almond tree. And, uh, and these do the same exact thing as Indian almond leaves. The only thing is they last much longer. Uh, and the cool thing about them is they actually provide um, natural cover for the shrimp. So these are just a great addition. If you don't want something um, that's really going to break down quickly, it's going to last longer. Um, if you're looking for some shrimp caves, this is a good way to go. Um, just a little bit of extra hiding space for them and all that. Um, so this stuff's really, really good. Um, I'll have to show you the tank that we're using it in. Using it in. Um, another new product we have is Catapa Bark, which is pretty much the same thing. Um, the only thing that's different is Catawba bark. Um, it, again, it's not going to break down as much, but it doesn't have the hole in the center. So obviously this one's going to be a little bit cheaper just because it's, it's, uh, it's, I don't know. It's not as big. Um, it doesn't provide the hiding space. I mean, you could stack it and things like that. Um, but it's definitely still a really good product. Um, uh, we got radical reefs in the house. My buddy Ken, um, he's the one that does all of our, uh, reef tanks and things like that. He's, He's a huge help to us, so shout out to him. Um, so, yep, we got the Catawba Bark and the Catawba Logs. Um, now, this is a really cool product that we're trying out. Um, this is called Leaves and Bark. Um, it is a product from Glass Garden Salty Shrimp, the same remineralizer, remineralizer we use, and uh, pretty much the same people that make, like, Bacteria E and stuff. And so what Leaf and Bark is, is it is, um, like, basically extract from Indian almond leaves, I think they said it takes like, <laughs> it's something like 10, it's either 10 or 100, I don't really remember, but it takes either 10 or 100 any normal leaves to make 100 milliliters of this. Um, so there's tons and tons of tans packed into it. And then they also use, let's see, um, they use bark from the Indian almond. <laughs> Leaf and bark is made with Indian almond leaves, um, African plum slash cherry trees, cat's claw, uh, lapacho trees, oak trees, and or bracho trees. I don't know what that is, but um, they use all of that to get this extract and it's really, really potent. Um, and they say this is actually a good way to prevent fungal diseases. Um, it's also a good way to fight off parasites and just aid to the natural aquarium. So we're actually testing this out in our uh, in our tanks right now. But that, that is an interesting product that I, I'm excited to see how it does. Um, Spiderwood is another one that we added. I talked about this earlier. Uh, we actually have this as one of our door busters right now. So we got one for 16 bucks, or you can get a three pack for $42.99. And they all pretty much look the same. I mean, not the same, but they're all pretty much like this. They got like crazy structure to them. Like that piece is just funky. Um, and, that, and then there's a lot that are like this. And uh, just really, really cool stuff. If you want a certain piece, all you have to do is put it in the comments and let us know. And, uh, and we'll try to accommodate your, your request. Um, the other new thing is this. Uh, it's called Mapani wood. Uh, it's a really hard wood. It leaches tons and tons of tannins. Um, this stuff is really, really good uh, for shrimp tanks just because of the tannins. And this stuff will last much longer than any other type of wood. Um, the cool thing about it is it sinks right away just like Malaysian wood or Malaysian driftwood. 
And so this stuff works really well as well. Um, what else we got? I mean, we we got some stuff on sale. Like you can go to our door busters, and I know I talked about this earlier, um, but we have door busters and they change every single day. Um, so today our door busters were Choya wood, um, Malaysian driftwood, spider wood, uh, dragonstone, which is really new to us, um, Mapani wood, which is new, carved lava rock, which is new, and Siru stone, which is Siru stone or Siri stone. Uh, which is new also. This stuff is my favorite. Like, I mean, look at the character on that stone. Um, absolutely beautiful. So this is probably my favorite product that we added. Um, I'm going to try using this in some aquascapes coming up very soon. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be really cool. Uh, this is the one that I already sold that was our favorite. Um, we did what you see is what you get, and it's like number six. So you go down here and you would pick package number six. And this stuff, was, I mean, it was just really cool rock. And let me see. Yeah, I mean, just beautiful, beautiful stones. Super cool. So that's what we got going on there. But I'm back with you guys. Um, Relic Turtle said, hey, Rob, can't wait for the next payday. Probably we'll be picking up some cherry shrimp. That sounds great to us. Like, that is for sure good with me. Um, KG Cichlids is in the house. I don't think is KG Tropicals is KG Tropicals and KG Cichlids the same person. I, I know probably not, but it's always better to ask. Um, we got Flynn's fish form in the house. What's going on, Flynn? I see Flynn's here. Um, Melik Ballin is in the house. What's going on, man? I haven't seen you in forever. I should go check on Ruby soon. Uh, watch the code will screw up. And I'll give away a hundred. Um, that would be I, that would probably happen to me. Give away all the free T-shirts. <laughs> um, uh, who said I'll go? Rob, can I intern for you? Yes, you can always intern for us. Um, we need people that are over eighteen, though. So you got like a year or two, and then you'll be good to go. Uh, Chris Holland said, "You may have already answered this, but will fish be live on your website? And do you plan on carrying pea puffers?" So that is a great question, um, Chris. We are going to carry fish on the website. Uh, they're actually been out of quarantine for forever. Um, we wanted to wait until after Black Friday and after last weekend, after the aquatic experience, um, because we knew shipping was going to be crazy these couple weeks. Um, so as soon as shipping gets back to normal, then we're going to add the fish to the website. Um, so they will be coming soon, very, very, very soon. Uh, and they're all doing really well. So we've had them for a long time now. Um, it's given us a chance to learn how to keep them and make sure um, they don't have parasites, make sure they don't have internal parasites, any diseases. So um, we've learned a lot, and, uh, and they've done really, really well. So I'll have to do an update video on them. Um, but those will be on the website soon. Uh, like I said, I just didn't want to put them up for Black Friday because I knew that we'd probably sell a lot, and I didn't want to start shipping with a ton of packages in the middle of the busiest shipping year or shipping week of the year. Um, Lucas said, hey, Rob, bought some CRS a while back, and they're breathing like crazy. That is what I like to hear, uh, Lucas. That is great to hear. Um, George Cocker Fur said, please give me some pointers to a brand new shrimp breeder. Um, oh, so please give pointers to a brand new shrimp breeder. So patience and consistency. That is what I always, always, always recommend. Um, you got to have patience and you got to be consistent. So, um, you know, patients, like we, most of us, like when we get, first get shrimp, we want to get them in the tank as quick as we can. We want to see them. Um, as soon as something goes wrong, we change a thousand different things. Like the goal is to just take it easy, put shrimp in the tank, know you're doing really good, and then just slowly, slowly make changes if you need to. Don't stress them out. And be patient. Being patient is a very, very important thing that a lot of us lack. Me, my, like I am included. When I want things done, like I want to do them now. Um, so sometimes patience is a virtue and it's something you have to get good at. Um, but luckily I've gotten decent at being patient. So patience and consistency is how you become a successful shrimp breeder. Um, George. Also, what are really good beginner fish and what is a good size for them? Um, a beginner fish would be like a molly or a guppy or an antler. Um, now beginner shrimp would be like cherry shrimp or a monos. <laughs> Timothy, well, let me see what all he said. 
They shouldn't be dying though. Just it's not ideal parameters for them. So somebody must have listed their parameters. Hey, I got a bunch of Dragonstone for free from the Aquatic Experience. I guess I won it from KRPC, 12 pounds worth, shipped to me for free. That is awesome. You can't beat that deal. Uh, nothing wrong with free stuff. Uh, Timothy Lothar said, hello. Your channel is absolutely best. How far is Flip Aquatics from Heath, Ohio? I would love to visit and buy some Crystal Reds once I get my aquarium set up uh, that does not have a better fish in it. So, I don't know how far away you are, but I am, what is it? I am located in Youngstown, Ohio. So if you're, if you can look up where Youngstown is um, and then figure it out from there, that is how far we are. But Youngstown, Ohio, we're actually in Warren, Ohio to be exact, but Youngstown, Ohio is very, very close. Uh, Lisa Peterson said, my females are all buried, but not breeding. Any suggestions? So. Maybe you don't have enough males. Um, maybe the females are getting away. Maybe your aquarium's too big. Um, maybe do a little, like do like a twenty percent water change to kind of shock the shrimp. And uh, I don't recommend that, but you could if you really want to get them breeding. Um, but yeah, just patience. You know, wait for them. They'll breed when they're ready. Um, as long as you have everything set up correctly, then you're going to be good. Sazanza's leaving. Good night, everyone. Good night, Sazanza. Thank you for stopping in. Um, who said aqua asked rob could shrimp breed successfully in a show aquarium so yes shrimp can breed successfully in a show aquarium the only thing is most show aquariums um have plants in them and they have hard to keep plants um so you have to do some dosing and that is not you know not ideal for keeping shrimp but it is possible it is definitely definitely possible Um, when does your sale end again? I'm planning on getting some of your shrimp. Um, N. Kahnemans at or asked that. Uh, so our sale ends on Monday. Uh, Monday is the last day for our sale. So we're going to do different, um, what are they called? Uh, door busters every single day um, up till Friday or up till Monday. Monday is going to be the last day for door busters. And then, um, and then we're going to go from there. But yes, so it does go till Monday. The only difference is every single day something changes and, you know, something different, different things like that. And so uh, so that's what we have going on. Uh, we do not export, Dominic. We do not ship to other countries, only the United States. Um, now, we can ship a T-shirt or something like that to other countries, um, but we don't normally ship to other countries. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so... I don't know where Amanda is. I probably should go check on Ruby soon. See if she missed me back. She did not. Let's call Amanda. <laughs> oh, her phone's dead. Let me call my mom then. Cause they're together. Man, she's always busy. So, what else we got going on? We were supposed to ship today, but we didn't have that busy of a day, so we decided to push off shipping till tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any other questions, I'll I'll get more into some products. I want to see what a what a minute cost. Uh, you're very you're. Hey, Rob. hey mom. Hey, I'm live streaming right now, but I was curious when Amanda was gonna be home. You're still shopping? Well, I mean, yeah, just right now, like I'm live streaming and Ruby keeps having to go outside, things like that. So it'd be nice if you guys were home. Okay. All right. We'll cut her short. Okay. All right. Because I keep having to go let Ruby out and grab her. But all right. Love you. Man, they are shopping machines. They're still shopping. They've been shopping since 9 a.m. this morning. That is a, what, it's 7 o'clock right now? So 7 plus 3, 10-hour day of shopping. Like, whoo, that is, that is crazy. 
Um, yeah, somebody said my videos are gonna cost them a fortune. I'm sorry, I really haven't been making videos lately. Um, I've been, oh, I've been super, super duper busy, but it's all good. It, it's a, it's a good type of busy. Um, <laughs> Holly said, "Hey, man, then Rob's mom. Sorry, I didn't see it, Holly. I would have told me you said hello." Um, what do you recommend, chur or a mono shrimp? A tree? I don't know what tree shrimp are, but a mono shrimp are my go-to. Um, they're extremely hardy. They're great algae eaters. So uh, that is personally what I'd recommend. Pretty much to anyone that is asking. Um, send you an email regarding some elobiopsidea from a couple of your black rose neos. Was just wondering if you got it. Um, hope you had a great Thanksgiving, uh, Mason. So I did get your email. Um, I've been slammed, so I haven't responded yet. Uh, but don't worry at all. We will take 100% care of you. Um, a part of our policy is we guarantee 100% um, that the shrimp are going to be healthy. And if they're not, we will replace them. We will cover shipping, everything like that. Um, because elobiopsidae is one of those diseases. It's called the green fungus. Um, it is impossible uh, to stop. And we would have to quarantine it literally for 90 days to ensure that they didn't have it. Uh, because that's what we're thinking the gestation period is, is 90 days. Um, or it may even be 60, but I'm going with 90 for now. And so we can only take out the ones that we actually see parasites on. And so some do slip through our quarantine. It's not very many. Um, Mason, I think you are the fourth case we've had so far this whole year. Um, so we had one case of like one of our first shipments. And then we like we educated everyone on what LLBS today was. And since people have been educated, then um, now we, we, we see it a little bit more. So we've had three cases since then you being the third one. So we had four total cases of L biops today. So um, we always replace it. We always make it right. So we will definitely work some out, Mason. Thank you for, for reminding me. Um, let me see. Mike Samsell said, I have well in city water. It helps give me options. I tried city water for this thing. Uh, so Mike, you got a ton of options. Um, yeah, dechlorinator is huge. You got to have that. Mike said, I have two filters. One sponge filter and one filter hanging on the back, a uh, small one for 10 gallon aquarium. That's too much. So, no, I think two types of filtration is ideal, whether it's a uh, sponge filter or under gravel filter, uh, canister filter, whatever it is. Um, I definitely recommend keeping multiple types of sponge filters or different types of filters, or even two sponge filters works. Uh, Ollie Taylor's going to bed. It's midnight here. I'm going to dip out. Night fish fam sending love. So good night, Ollie. Good night, Laura. Uh, thank you for hanging out for a little bit. Uh, Cecilia said she'll sleep good tonight. I gotta go let Ruby in, in a second. ACH Aquatic says they're women, Rob. I think they're born with shopping jeans. Uh, amen to that. Um, they definitely love their shopping. Uh, totally understand. Wasn't worried about a refund or any replacement. Just wanted to have a conversation with you about it. Thanks. Um, Caradina cannot get yellow biops today. That is the understanding that they cannot get it. So I've never seen one with it, but then again, they're, they're bred in tanks, you know, um, proper water. So like, I'm sure if you bred Caridina outside in, in a pond or anything like that, you might be able to get it. Um, but honestly, I don't know. So I do not think Caridina can get LL vibes today. But Mason, no, we will definitely take care of you. Oops, sorry, I spit. Um, we'll definitely take care of you. We'll give you some replacements and things like that. Um, we definitely will not leave you hanging at all. And that's just that's that why we do what we do. So we don't worry about a thing. Uh, Beta FX, how would you personally sterilize equipments, tanks, plants for shrimp? So currently, um, the extreme method is bleach. You can actually do a bleach dip. Um, do like one part bleach for like nine parts water. So like it's one in 10. Um, you can also do, um, what is it? We use apple cider vinegar that kills a lot of bacteria. Um, you can use straight alcohol. Um, some people use coral dip. Um, I've heard that, I've never tried it, but I think it was a good idea. They use coral dip uh, to treat all their equipment, which would be, um, you know, not too bad. Uh, let's see. George, George Cocker first said, do you sell a mono shrimp on, the, on your website? Uh, so we do. Let me see if I can find them. 
Um, so here, I'll just share my screen. Um, so he's looking for a mono shrimp. Uh, my buddy, uh, Mike over at Aquapros, actually did a video on him. Um, but if you go to all shrimp, actually might be on a Caradina shrimp. Let's go to all shrimp because um, I know it's there. There is our purple zebra shrimp, our purple, metallic purple shrimp, sorry. And a mono shrimp is right here up at the top. And uh, let's see, I think, do we have 10 fox in stock? Yeah, we do. So you can get a five pack for $25 or a 10 pack for $35. And uh, and then you get 17% off of that. So we do definitely have them in stock. And, uh, and they are an awesome, awesome shrimp. Um, again, crazy good algae eaters. So highly recommend those. Uh, they're just absolutely hearty, hearty, hearty. Um, how da 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 da. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, one more question. My TDS is two seventy and KH is four and GH is twelve. Is it time for a water change? Um, so honestly, I don't think your KH and GH are that high. I think that's pretty good uh, parameters for Neocaridina. So I I would say you're in good shape. No. Um, 270 is is a little on the high end. Um, you could probably do a water change to bring that down to 200. Depends on what um, what your water out of the tap comes out at. But if your water out of the tap comes out at 270, then you're doing really good. Always keep an extra sponge filter around and cycle. It. Amen to that. Um, it is always good to have extra sponge filters in your tank. So if you need to set up another tank immediately, uh, you have extra sponge filters to do so. King Lee's in the house. What's going on, King? Uh, Kang is my buddy, um, lives up in Minnesota. I'm actually, I need to go visit him very, very soon. Um, we're going to do some uh, hanging out and hunting and things like that. You know, all that all that guy stuff. That's what we're going to be doing. Um, so that will be cool to hang out with him and his family. Um, I'm excited about that. But what else we got going on tonight? So it is Friday. It's Black Friday. You guys aren't shopping. Instead, you are hanging out with Yours truly, Rob over here at Flip Aquatics. Glad I brought these mints up. Um, I better go let my puppy in. So well, let me see if I can get you guys on a better screen than, than just me. Um, here we go. I will, I will share my website. That way if anyone wonders where I'm at, you're looking at this. All right, I'll be back in two seconds. All right, I'm back. Oh, we got H2O, uh, H2O plants in the house. Uh, Justin, we also got Sergeant Tanks in the house. Um, what's going on, guys? Sergeant Tanks, Jeremy said, my theory behind green fungus not being as susceptive in caridina species is due to the acidity level uh, versus that of your typical neo -caridina. So. I would actually agree with that. That has been my theory, um, but I haven't put it to the test yet, which I need to. Um, <laughs> Relic, Relic Turtle said, LOL, back. Don't you love Thanksgiving leftovers? LOL, yum. That is the best part about Thanksgiving is the leftovers. And that's actually spend time with family and friends and hanging out. Oh, that's the funnest. 
Um, need more time said matte filters just use a airstone. They do, and they are extremely effective. I do have a video on them. Oh, and what does the airline connect to? I'm sorry, I'm doing my first tank and having a little trouble with research. Um, so a matten filter has a little hole in it. At least ours do on the lift tube, and you just push the air line down into it, and then the bubbles coming out shoot the air out. And uh, shoot the, the bubbles shoot the water out the little end. And it's a very, very effective um, type of filtration. Oh. Chris Dory in the house. Chris was hanging out with me today. He was actually one of the ones that came up and got the um, get some shrimp, uh, spent some time with me. So he spent some money. You know, he spent some money. So I thank him for that. And uh, it was cool hanging out with him and Mallory. Um, really appreciate you guys coming up and hanging out and getting some stuff. Um, he got some. He got a Galaxy Pinto and a couple uh, red uh, uh, red Pintos. And uh, hey, Rob, thanks for helping out today. Yeah, not a problem at all, Chris. Thanks for coming up. Um, George says, I feel like an idiot. I've been spelling a mono, mono this whole time. That's all right. I knew what you meant, and that's all that matters. Um, no problem at all. I, I've been there, man. I've been there for sure. Um, I got Ruby in, so that's a good thing. Um, Rob, do what's your, or Rob, what's your experience with bamboo shrimp? So I love bamboo shrimp. Um, I think they're freaking cool. Um, so that is a positive. They're huge, so you can keep them with fish. Um, but they are, you really have to feed them. Like, they constantly, like in the wild, they feed all day. they got these big mitts, and they oh, oh. <laughs> That's exactly how they eat. Just so, just in case you were wondering, that's exactly how they eat. Um, what, Ruby? Look what she keeps bringing me. She keeps bringing me her panda. Ready? <laughs> She's such a good dog. And she's been locked up, not all day, but she's been locked up for a decent amount of the day. So I'm sure she's she's wanting some attention. Um, but my experience with bamboo shrimp is they can go in with pretty much anything. You just you have to make sure you're feeding them because they literally eat all day long. Like they just sit in a river and just sift stuff out of the the water current and just eat. So um, you really got to make sure you're feeding them. I'm only buying more stuff if you say my last name. Um, you're on widescreen in Loveland, Ohio. So Bakken, oh my gosh, Bakken Seti, Seteti, Bakken Seteti, John Bakken Seteti, that's what I'm going with, <laughs> that's hilarious, uh, but you don't have to buy more stuff, especially if you already placed an order, thank you so much for uh, for doing that, um, Coker, oh that's funny, George Coker fur, <laughs> and I was saying Cocker, <laughs> That's hilarious. Sorry, George. He said, I'm sorry, but I have to correct you. It's pronounced Coker. Only reason I say this is because I'm going to be watching more live streams and being more active on this channel. That is funny. I'm glad you told me. Coker. Um, do you guys ship shrimp in cold weather? So that is actually a really, really good question, Sean. Um, we get this all the time. So shrimp actually are perfect for shipping in cold weather. I actually prefer cold weather because they do better. Um, the heat kills them easier than cold. As long as your temperatures are above 30, the shrimp are going to do fine. Anything below 30, the shrimp are going to have a hard time. Um, so people always get mad at us. Like, the, the, like if we're shipping to like New York or something like that and it's really cold um, and we don't use a heat pack, like they're like, hey, like you know, we love the shrimp and they did good, but the water was really cold. I wish you would have used a heat pack. Uh, the thing is heat packs kill shrimp like a lot quicker um, than just the cold. So I don't prefer to use heat packs, but I think we're going to have to just because uh, people uh, think that it's a bad thing if we don't, which it personally, like it, it, it isn't at all. It's better for them. Um, but I don't know. I got to, I got to work on that. Maybe, I don't know. I got to figure something out, but I think we are going to start shipping with heat packs. We're just going to have to ship in medium flat rate. Right? So it gives them more air space. Um, for the heat pack to work. Um, let's see. I did see Redbeard Aquatics in the house. What's going on, Redbeard? Um, hopefully your uh, blue dream, not blue dreams, blue bolts are doing good. Um, hopefully they're breeding like crazy and you're enjoying the the new Shrimp King tank. Ready, Rubes? She is a good dog. Sorry. And then like this whole table 
bounces when she's running around. <laughs> I wonder if you guys can see. It. I'm sure you guys can see it. Or maybe just my screen shaking. I don't know. Um, but let's see. What else we got going on? Um, Ruby, quit running. You're making a screen jump. You're making a screen jump, girl. So this is what I did today. I want to tell you guys this because I think it's really awesome. And I'm super excited about it. Um, does one sponge filter, is it enough for a 20 long? Yes, but I would get two just because it's always good to have two. Um, just in case something goes wrong or you need to filter for another tank. Two is better than one, 100%. So I would go with that. Uh, Rally Girl said, stick with your gut, Rob. I don't remember what I would need to stick with my gut about. But I will stick with my gut. May Hopefully you're not calling me fat. Like, is that what you mean? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, just rescaped four tanks today on beat. Red beer. Jeez, oh, man. Um, George Coker fur. There, I got it. I got the name right. Uh, red beer, that is awesome. Um, hopefully you're not too exhausted. I wish wish you told me you were escaping. I just added a bunch of rock to the the uh, the website. We got Sirius Stone. Go get it, Rubes. We got Sirius Stone or Sirius Stone, however you want to say it, and uh, Dragonstone. Look at her. What? You give me kisses? Oh, you dropped it. Here. Think she'll get it. Come on. <laughs> Go get it. All right, let's see. If I use fluval shrimp stratum for substrate and have the tank heavily planted, <laughs> <laughs> Would that be an ideal environment for crystal reds to breed? I know, like soft water, but only have tap. Yes, that would be a good shrimp stratum. Fluval shrimp stratum is the best uh, for crystal shrimp, in my opinion. Ruby, she loves playing catch. <laughs> um, Stephen Tomlinson said, "I just ordered shrimp king complete off your website." How often should I feed my mono shrimp? Um, honestly, just feed them whenever. Like I, I usually feed them once a day. Um, you know, you could do it every other day, something like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, there, there's a lot of ways to do it. What's Sergeant Tank saying? Jeremy said, "I agree, Rob. By reducing the met met metabolic rate of shrimp with cooler shipping temps, I feel distressed. Um, I feel distresses them and reduces issues in waste production. I'd see." Jeremy just put a, a scientific spin on what I'm already doing. So <laughs> thank you, Jeremy, for that. Now I got a way to hit them back. Like, um, you know, cold weather reduces the metabolism, which reduces poop, which reduces waste, which reduces uh, the stress, which reduces the chance that they will die. Now I got a good way to say it. Um, I don't even know what that's saying. Time out. Oh, he got banned. I timed him out, but <laughs> Jeremy, the Sergeant Tanks put a ban on him. So I guess I guess you get banned then. Get out of here. That's spam. Uh, yeah, but Fluval is a great substrate. Um, Boo Boo. I love that name. Boo Boo. If that's how you say it. I, I still think it's cool. Uh, Boo Boo said, can I start a cherry? Colony together with a colony of guppies. Yeah, I mean, Corey does it all the time, aquarium co-op, so it, it's possible. It's definitely possible. Plan to start them at the same time, get tons of guppy grass and moss in it. Yeah, the more plants and stuff like that you have, the better off you're going to do. Um, PMP News says, I, do not, I did not see the stones on your site. Uh-oh. So we need to do this then. Let's do some, some, sh some screen sharing. So hopefully... When you guys go to my site, this is what you should see. You go to it, you got Black Friday doorbusters, you got shrimp, plants, snails, and fish, food, natural products, supplies, and info. So hopefully that's what you guys see. If you guys can just go look for me and tell me that is what you see, I'd feel much better um, because I hope it's not like lagging behind or anything like that. Girls, Ruby, quit it. She's beating up on Emma. Um, so if you go to food and natural products, you're going to see stone or rock right here. And you go to all stone right there. And that will pull up the three types of rock that we have. 
Um, hopefully that's working. Hey, girls. Man, they're crazy. But that's how you find it. Hopefully you guys are able to see that. Let me know if you can or can't see that. Um, hopefully you can. And then hopefully you can see like the Black Friday deals, which is the stone also. Um, so you can check out those things. But if you guys aren't seeing that, let me know. I'll have to send an email to my web guy and get him to change that. Girls, quit being crazy. Go take Ruby downstairs and play with her. Uh, Ruby, uh, I don't know where Ruby got it from, but she likes, she humps now, which I don't even know. And so she's always doing that to poor Emma. And then you got to yell at her. So who the heck knows? Like, look at them. No, I really can't see. I have no way of Justin came there. But please let me know if you guys can see all that stuff. If not, I'll have a, send a email to my web people and hopefully. You hear this? This is what I deal with all day. Man. <laughs> um, I right now I'm getting into breeding fancy giant goldfish. A line, a line in the sense of genetic um, conditioning of specific goldfish for several year projects about 10 years old. But next year is round two of my everything. That is crazy. Goldfish is a whole different thing for me. I've never done it before. I would love to. Mike, you shouldn't have to subscribe to see the door busters. Um, site's working fine for Dawn. That's good. Thanks for the rock today, brother. No problem, Chris. Hey, Rob, thanks for the great visit. Um, stoked about the tank shrimp and getting to meet you. Uh, Shelly says hi. Thank you, Leon. So Leon actually came and visited me today, too. So it's crazy uh, that so many people, uh, I got to see so many people that actually watch us on YouTube, which is awesome. Um, Emma, come here. Come on. She won't come. Emma, come. Come on. There she is. Come on. <laughs> oh, she's getting me. Ruby's jealous. What? See, I get I get all kinds of love from my puppies. I'm telling you, Golden Doodles, best dogs in the world. Absolutely. Right? Right? You're the best dog ever? Um, should I get Mopani or Malaysian Driftwood for my shrimp? Um, well, between those two, I would say our Mopani wood has better characteristics. So if you're doing it from a scaping point, um, I would go with Mopani. If you're doing it for functionality, either word would work. Um, it just depends on what you want. Um, but yeah, I would say our, our Mopani wood has the best characteristics. Good girl. They're both trying to get underneath the desk right now. Ruby, you gonna come up and see me? Come on. There she comes. You do what Emma does? There. <laughs> see? You guys gotta get some golden doodles. Right, baby? You're a good girl, huh? So we're talking about, I guess we're talking about golden doodles today. And we're talking about shrimp. Um, but anyway, we should focus more on shrimp. Uh, Kay Walker said, do you know a price for shipping to Australia? So it depends on what I'm shipping. If I'm just going to ship you a t-shirt, um, it'll probably be like 10 or $15 for shipping, something like that. I'd have to check into it. Um, Emily Bennett, your dog is not better than Emma or Ruby. No way, no how. All right, go play. Go play. No, turtles are definitely not better. You can't beat a good dog. Um, what was I getting ready to tell you guys? Oh, I need to tell you about my day today. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to minimize chat so I don't get distracted because that always happens. So today um, we had three people come to the shop. Uh, Chris came and he and Mallory bought some. They just bought some normal stuff. Um, but everyone else that came to our shop today, in, in, including Lane, um, is they came and bought – uh, some tanks. Um, we're getting rid of, <laughs> we're getting rid of uh, uh, a ton of aquariums that we have that are just laying around. And the reason being is we are building the third breeding room, um, which is going to be huge. I got to do a video on it and show you guys what we're thinking. Uh, it is literally going to take up a ton of space. Like I'm so, so excited for it. Um, can't freaking wait. 
Uh, it is going to be awesome. So we, I think we're going to have uh, 30 ponds in it, 30 big ponds and about 40 tanks. Um, so each pond is, it's supposed to be like 120 gallons, um, but I don't think it's quite that. It might be 100 gallons. So we're going to have like, what, 3,000 gallons just in ponds. And then we're going to have 40, 20 gallon tanks. So what is that? Eight, another 800. So it's going to be like 3,800 gallons of breeding, um, which is going to be a ton, like an absolute lot. Uh, so I'm stinking excited about that. I think that will be a huge, a huge addition for us. It means that hmm, we probably won't run out of shrimp anymore, uh, which will be a really good thing. Um, because right now our big problem is we're always running out of shrimp. Like, even though we try and we try and we try, we still run out of shrimp. And so the next room is going to be huge. Um, we're also getting that 400-gallon tank. Thank goodness. Um, can't wait for that. And so we're still kind of in the works of getting that th whole thing rolling. Um, but that is going to be really, really cool. And I think I, I keep going back and forth what I want to keep in it. I think I'm going to do a big time on B tank. Um, but I'm really, really considering just blue bolts. Like do a ton. Literally like 4,000 blue bolts. Like just just oh, get a ton of shrimp. So that's what I'm thinking about. I still got some time to think about it though. So that's the big news. Um, the other thing is like we're getting into some different trim. We're hopefully going to expand on um, the, the nano fish that we offer. Um, Alex said, Rob, I asked you about the brown spots on my blue bolts. Should I take the molds out for a while so they don't graze on them? Um, Alex, you know what? That is probably a really, really good suggestion. And let me tell you what happened to Alex. Um, he actually has... I think it's called black spot, something like that. It's where you actually get a bacterial infection on um, the exoskeleton of the shrimp. And the uh, bacterial infection can actually eat through the shrimp. Bless you. I was making sure she, was, making sure she wasn't choking. Um, but the bacteria will actually eat through the shell and actually get down to the tissue of the shrimp. Um, when it gets into the tissue of the shrimp, it usually kills them. Um, so you don't want that to happen. And the best thing to do is do a big water change, um, add some peroxide to the tank, um, something to kill bacteria. Um, there's also products out there. Uh, I think General Cure is a good one. Um, it's either General Cure or Erythromycin. I always forget. Um, but we've used both on shrimp before and haven't killed them. So they do. They can work on that. Um, <laughs> the Flip Aquatics Variety Channel. Chris, that's funny. Um, but, yeah, Mr. McFrizzy. Oh, no, that wasn't Mr. McFrizzy. That was Alex who asked me all that. Um, so, yeah, Alex, I would say take out the molts. Um, that's a safe way to do it. Um, then they can't eat that bacteria. And then just watch them. Keep your water as clean as possible. Try to prevent any bacteria blooms. Um, dose um, peroxide. I do one milliliter per oh, – I actually do it per – like pretty much per gallon. Um, but I always recommend people to do it per five gallons or per ten gallons because you don't want to overdose it. Um, but, yeah, dose some peroxide. Um, get that bacteria taken care of. Like that is the last thing you need. Um, but if you have any problems, please let me know. I'm here to help, hundred um, percent. Any tips for aquascaping and breeding shrimp in the same tank? Um, so what I would do is I would do easy plants. Um, you can definitely do some sweet driftwood, some sweet rocks. Um, dragonstone is inert, so that's a good one. Um, I would do dragonstone and maybe some. Uh, manzanita wood we don't sell it but i think it's really good i think dustin over at dustin's fish tank sells it um spider wood is a good wood um so there's a lot you can do there's definitely a lot you can do um but the big thing is try not to get plants that need a lot of fertilizer because that's where you're going to run into problems um also make sure to get a buffer wire shrimp like crystal reds um because you're going to need that buffered uh, substrate to keep the plants alive um, yeah, so Mark said uh, lots of work for me. Mark's in the chat. Is, he says, B St. John, uh, B S T John. And uh, Mark is going to be building the room for me, uh, heading it up. And I'll probably uh, give him either Tyler or Jeff to work with him and uh, get stuff done. And uh, that next room, like the third breeding room, is just going to be a blast. Like, it is going to be the room that I've always wanted, that I'm going to do exactly how I want to do it and absolutely just going to enjoy it. Um, so that is what we're going to be working on soon. 
And there's going to be a lot of videos about it, so I'm super excited. Uh, Chicago Poppy said, Mapani Wood has more of a tendency to release tans in the water. 100%. Um, because it's such a hard wood, it carries a lot of tannins, and, uh, and it leaches for forever. So if you don't want tannins, which I recommend keeping them because they're good for an aquarium, um, you can boil it, and you can get rid of a lot of tannins that way. Um, but, or you can just let it soak in a tub for a while and keep changing the water, and that's a way to do it, too. Um, Dwayne said, Rob, can you talk a little bit about some of the sh breeders' shrimps you saw at AE, like Vin Shrimp and the others? Yeah. Alexander, or Alexandru F. Sullivan dropped a $10 super chat. Uh, thank you. Can't wait for next week to get the next of Bolts and Red Pitos. So, that is crazy, Alex. You ordered more shrimp. That is nuts. Um, thank you so much for supporting us. Um, and thank you for the $10 super chat. And like I said, if you need any help at all, we are 100% here to help. Um, so if you have any problems or anything like that, we will definitely help you out. Um, Dwayne. Sorry, my hair is a mess. Got to get that half fixed up. Um, but let me see. Um so there were a ton of shrimp at the aquatic experience that is a given um we got where are they we uh there was like so if you guys weren't at the aquatic experience uh the first thing i would recommend is we did a video it's called the, the most expensive shrimp in the united states um which they really were there was some like really really expensive shrimp at the aquatic experience uh, but what happened was there was a lot of breeders um, that flew in from Taiwan to show off their shrimp. So the three big ones were uh, Vin, uh, Carbon, and Selene. Those were the three big shrimp breeders that flew in. And uh, hi, Ruby. And uh, Vin won Best of Show. And then Selene won uh, the Shrimp King Award. So they both submitted a ton of shrimp and really, really high quality. Um, so as far as like, I can't, I mean, I judge them, but like I didn't go back and through and look to see who brought what. Um, I know that uh, Carbon has won the most awards in history of the international shrimp competition in the United States. So he's been doing really good and he've, he's come two years in a row. Um, but Vin and Selene really did a good job. So the thing is, is, all the Taiwanese breeders are really, really good breeders. Like that is why they do what they do. Like they, they are absolute professionals. Um, so, I, it's hard to say which one's better than the other. Like obviously, I buy my shrimp from Selene, so I'm gonna say that I like his quality the best um, because he has a really good quarantine process. Um, he has like just his whole business structure is really good. Um, so I really like his shrimp, and I'm I'm always really happy with what we get in. Um, and so in my opinion, he has really, really good quality shrimp for a decent price. Um, and I really don't know what, what Vin and them charge for their, uh, their shrimp, but yeah, I don't really know. I, I, you really can't go wrong with shrimp. It all comes down to, um, how the shrimp, uh, comes to the United States and how it goes to the consumer. Right. So like when you guys get shrimp, it, it depends, like, is that shrimp going to live or is it not going to live? Like, it doesn't really matter what it looks like. Um, how healthy is it? So it all comes down to health for me. Um, but with that being said, like all the Taiwanese breeders breed some amazing looking shrimp. Um, so I really can't go like, oh, this person had such an amazing one of these or so on and so forth. Um, they all had beautiful shrimp in, it, in their own rights. Emerald Pets, Natasha. What's going on, Natasha? Hi, everyone. Sorry I'm late. I just got out of work. Well, that is not good, Natasha. <laughs> But thank you for stopping in and hanging out with us. Um, you got out of work late, so I'm sure it was a busy day since it was Black Friday. But hopefully it wasn't too busy. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -bum, ba -bum. George Coker, or Coker um, said, be right back, bro. Thanks for all the help. No problem at all. Um, uh, Kaden Ott actually had a really good question. Uh, Kaden asks, can I keep mystery snails and blue dream shrimp together? 100%. Um, we actually prefer it. The, so snails uh, go really, really good with shrimp uh, just for the reason that 
basically for the reason that snails keep the bio load up. So like snails produce a decent amount of waste. Um, so it keeps the ammonia going up, which keeps the ammonia eating bacteria alive, um, which produces nitrate, which keeps the nitrate eating bacteria alive, which keeps the cycle going. Um, so in my opinion, shrimp are really good. And what I've seen is shrimp, uh, or actually snails, snails eat things that shrimp won't. They'll clean up food that's left over, and then they poop. And then shrimp eat their poop. <laughs> and, then, and then shrimp poop, and snails eat their poop. So it is just this constant relationship back and forth. Um, it's pretty symbiotic, which means that they, they go together really well. Um, so I highly recommend keeping snails and shrimp together. Um, I personally really like Malaysian trumpet snails. I like the way they look. Um, oh, no. Um, but I, I love snails. I absolutely love it. Sorry about this tank over here. Um, you can see there's some evaporation. <laughs> look at this tank. This tank's worse. Look at the evaporation on this puppy. Um, and all these shrimp are Taiwan bees. And they're actually breeding and doing well, which is just mind-boggling to me. Um, so I don't know what's going on in this tank. But let's see. You can actually see a shrimp right there. There's one right there. There's one. There's one. There's one. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> and there's one on the glass. There's one on the glass. That, it's just It, it blows my mind um, how well these tanks do uh, when they get so neglected. Um, so that's going on, but I don't know. That was my train of thought. That was all the time. Good thing you guys don't judge me. Um, hi, Rob. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, what do you think of Montemore? I don't even know how to say that word. It said Montemore Lena night. <laughs> Let me try one more time. Um, Montemore, Montemore, ill. Oh night clay. I don't know if that's how you say it, but whatever. Um, so I don't know of any big time breeders that use it. I don't use it. And, and everyone that I know that's like a big time breeder, they don't use it. So I would say you do not need to use it. Um, will it help? I don't know. Um, enough people use it to where I don't think it will have any ill effects. Um, and if it's cheap enough, like, you know, it doesn't hurt to get it. But what I will tell you is I don't use it. We breed a lot of shrimp and, uh, and we don't have problems. So it's up to you whether you want to use it, but I don't think it's necessary by any stretch of the imagination. Um, Kaden Oates says, how many snails should I get? I was thinking three. So, uh, snails, I'm partial to snails. So I would get, I would get a ton. Um, like I keep them in all the tanks now. Like I'm just ridiculous. Uh, but I would say three is a good number to start with. Um, I would get like one of every color. If, if I was being honest, like if I was a hobbyist, I would literally get one of every color and see which one I like the most and then go from there. But uh, yeah, that's what I'll do. That's my answer. I'm sticking to it. Um, C CPI 82 said, except assassin snails, um, they will eat shrimp if they can catch them. Um, that is 100% true. So assassin snails, I do not keep a shrimp in any tanks. Um, they will kill shrimp. Um, I've seen it happen. I've had it happen. I can be the witness that I know assassin nails will kill shrimp, 100%. Um, who said aqua? What's a good LED you like, Rob? Um, I know Amanda likes the Phoenix light. Um, it just grows plants really well. She has a 36 inch. She has a 24 inch. Um, I think she has an eight inch one. Like she absolutely loves them. Um, I like the Phoenix 2.0 planted in freshwater plus. I think that's what they're called. Um, it's just a really, really nice light. It's like, it's. I think it's waterproof. I know that's waterproof for X amount of time. So like, if it fell in the aquarium, it's gonna be fine. Um, that's a huge positive. The big thing is it's dimmable, and all you do to dim it is you press the button and hold it down, and it dims it or brightens it. Um, so if you're starting to get algae, just dim that light down a little bit. Um, where do you get your substrates? So I order them directly. Um, so we get. We use a lot of Fluval. We use a lot of Brightwell. Um, we're getting ready to try out Shrimp King soil. Um, so we just order it direct from the manufacturers. Um, you can get it off Amazon. Um, that's a good place to get it. Um, there's some other places out there like Dr. Foster's and Smith is a decent one. And uh, they usually have decent prices. Um, Kay Walker, not a problem at all. Um, have to get back to renovations. Have a great sale. Uh, Kay, thank you so much. Good luck with the renovations. Um, hopefully you have fun doing that. It's not a chore. So 
Enjoy your Friday night. Um, I just received my, let's see, 69RGH said, I just received my order of shrimp from you, Rob. Uh, no casseroles and everything is alive and doing well. Thank you for the extra blue dreams. Um, excellent packaging. Thank you so much. Um, I got to give a huge shout out to Jeff. Uh, Jeff it started off as my intern. Now he's my employee. Um, and he is just an absolute uh, building block for Flip Aquatics. Like we couldn't do what we're doing without him. Um, he's the one that does, I would say he does 99% of all shipping um, and does an awesome, awesome job. So that, got to give all the credits to him. Um, and CPI 82, yes, I do mean the Fluvo Planet 2.0, 100%. Mmm, Dwayne Quitchell says, um, Montmorillo Knight is possibly one of the building blocks of life on Earth and has also been found on Mars. Very similar mineral. So, Dwayne obviously thinks it works really, really well. So, Dwayne is a guy that's been in the hobby for a long time, and I respect his opinion. So, if he, with his research, thinks that it's a good product, um, then I would say that he would not steer you wrong. I just personally do not use it. Um, JJ Colina said, hello, Rob, uh, fellow fish, fisher of men. Um, thank you so much for saying that. Uh, what are your thoughts on keeping baby guppies with a colony of your shrimp? I'll transfer, um, I'll transfer them to another tank in a couple weeks. I think that's fine. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, baby shrimp normally won't bother the, actually they shouldn't bother, um, the shrimplets. They might eat a few. I don't know. They, they definitely could. Um, but as long as you feed them good, they will usually just hide. Mm -hmm. Cape Cod Tropical Fish Keeper says, I use it uh, for my shrimp and snails as it adds calcium to the water without increasing my... Oh, it's got some cinnamon. Uh, without already... Jeez, oh, man. Can't... <laughs> that cinnamon is, like, sitting right here. Um... <laughs> but other people always use that Monterilla night clay or however you say it. And uh, they say that it's not having any ill effects. So there you guys go. Um, I've got ADA Eco in my shrimp tank. Uh, leech is just enough hurts for the guppy grass to grow faster. And leech, leech just enough ammonia to keep the cycle going. Uh, is this a good idea or should I swap it to stratum? No, I would definitely keep it. Um, I know a lot of, well, I know of a breeder that is a big time breeder that uses only ADA and it leaches ammonia and he doesn't even cycle his things. He literally adds shrimp the same day, um, or transfers the substrate out. He only uses like a tiny, tiny bit of substrate, um, just enough to cover the bottom. Um, but yeah, so I, I think you should keep it. There's no point in wasting it. Um, I think it will do just fine. Even if it's leaching some ammonia. Uh, River Life Rack, how you doing, buddy? He said, I have a review video coming out with a uh, Reno Wi Fi LED light that's that a works with a smartphone app. Cool feature take photos of a cooler uh, with phone and light matches. Um, so I don't know what all that means, uh, but shout out to River Life, aka Rack Cross, just a really great guy. I got to meet him at the Aquatic Experience. Um, and it was really cool hanging out with him. He also supports us a ton in our business. Um, so huge shout out to River Life. Thank you for all that you're doing. Uh, Dwayne Kitchell said, thanks, Rob. Just used to add minerals for shrimplets and plants once a month. It also adds no TDS, so it's handy. That is nice. Um, I think I saw Mark Shrimp Tanks did a video of him, like, put a ton of it into water, and it didn't change the TDS at all, uh, which blows my mind because – Hypothetically, if it's adding calcium to the water, calcium is a mineral that would affect TDS. Um, that is actually uh, that's that's valid. Um, so I don't know what to think of it now. If if they say it has calcium in it, it should raise the TDS, unless it just doesn't dissolve in water. I don't know. Hi Emma. Do you want my mint? Is that what you want? She's smelling my mint. Jeez, man. All right. Um, so if you guys just tuned in, uh, we are running a 17% off sale on our website right now. Um, it's in celebration of Black Friday. 
and tomorrow is uh, Small Business Saturday, and then Monday is Cyber Monday. So we just have an action-packed weekend. Um, but yes, uh, but it won't let me put in Australia for posting. Um, Kay, send me an email, um, and I will I will send you a PayPal invoice. That's a good way to do it. Um, but anyway, we are running a 17% off on the whole website. Um, so any products, anything for that, um, uh, you know, it's it, it's a decent deal. It's it's I think it's the biggest deal we've ever offered on the whole website before. Um, and the cool thing is we have some door busters, um, which we're going to change these out every single day. And so, like, these are the door busters for this week or today. Um, we got Chola wood, we got Malaysian driftwood, spider wood, um, dragonstone, Mapani wood, carved lava rock, and cirrus stone. Um, you can find these by going to the Flip Aquatics homepage and then clicking on Black Friday Door Busters. And like I said, these are going to change every single day. Um, so currently these are running for another 7 hours and 15 minutes. And this is at 7.44 Eastern Time. Um, so if you're watching this video on replay, then then you'll be able to see this. Um, but we have this going on, 70% off everything else. Uh, we added a ton of new products like, um, what else did we add? I don't know. There's a lot of stuff. Um, ooh, this is one thing we added. Let me see. Supplies. You go to all filtration. Um, we got tons of sizes of the matte and filters, uh, which is really nice. And then we actually added sponge filters, which we've never had before. And so, again, we have a small, a medium, and a large. Um, so these ones are really cool. I don't think – I think they have a different type of base. I know some of them – have the bases that leach um, iron in them, and I don't think these are going to be ones that rust out. And so that's what we have going on. The 17% off sale goes through Monday, um, and it stops after Cyber Monday. And so, uh, so yeah, so we got that going on. So feel free to take advantage of that if you want. I know that most of us already did our shopping or we're waiting till Monday, and uh, and so check back every day. And we're gonna have different door busters. Um, maybe there's something that you'd like or maybe not. Who knows? You know, you never know. And so uh, so that's what we got going on in that. Uh, I did see a couple Super Chats coming in. We got Diesel Weasel. I love your name, man. Uh, my name used to be Love Diesel. I guess it still is, Dash Love Diesel. Uh, so Diesel Weasel said, thank you for the videos breaking down genetics. Uh, no problem at all. Um, always, always here to help. Um, Brian Sanford said, it might be a calcium that doesn't leach into the water and only is available th from grazing like salt like like salt licks for cows. Oh, that's true. I guess you're right. It could be. Um, That is true. Uh, Lane Murphy dropping a $2 super chat. Thank you so much, Lane. I think that's – yeah, that's Lane. He came and visited me today. So thank you for the $2 super chat. Uh, it was really cool meeting you and your wife. Uh, Shelly, I got it right. I remember. Cape Cod said it's cheap. And it's useful. It does not dissolve fast. And Mark shows us how to make a clay ball that sits on the bottom of the tank for the shrimp to eat when they want to. That is really interesting. I'll have to look up that video. Mark is so funny. Mark's shrimp tanks, if you've never checked him out, you got to check him out because he is hilarious. Rob, what the heck? You let me walk out with one of those logs? Oh, you let me walk out without one of those logs. What logs are you talking about? The Choi logs. Don't worry, Chris. I'll hook you up. You don't worry. Um, George Pride said best substrate for um, cherries. Best substrate for cherries, huh? I would say probably pool filter sand. <laughs> I don't even know why I didn't think about it. Sorry, I'm chewing on a. I'm actually sucking on a piece of candy. It keeps me from yawning, believe it or not. Um, yeah. My 20-gallon still has high pH 8.0, even though I've been using RO every time I do a water change. Um, I've even been using CCAM neutral regulator, but it hasn't helped at all. Any suggestions? So CP, CMPI 82, um, I would look at what's in your tank. Do you have rocks in there that could be increasing the pH? What is your KH, your carbonate hardness? If it's high, then your pH is going to be high. 
So you need to check that. Once you check all that stuff, um, you will know for sure. And that can help you more. Uh, Brian Sanford uh, said, are the matin filters poor at foam? So they are not poor at foam. Um, at least I don't believe they are. My manufacturer doesn't sell them as poor at foam. Uh, but we have been using them for three years now, and they haven't even started to break down. Um, so <laughs> right now it's looking like they are going to last a long time. So I would say uh, the big thing with poured foam is it lasts for forever. Um, at least that's what they say. I personally haven't had any issues with our foam, and we have been using it for I mean, at least two years, some maybe even three um, it might even be getting close to four. I really don't know. I'd have to like look back and see when we first got it. Um, but it is a really, really good uh, foam. I wouldn't sell it if I didn't think it was it was something that worked well. Um, Ibrahim Nazir said, "How are you?" That's literally how they said. It. So, I am good. <laughs> I am doing really good. Um, it's kind of cool just hanging out. Um, you know, it's just uh, it's just a good, good night. Um, not really had too much going on. Just kind of hanging back on a Friday night, hanging out with you all. Um, it's, it's good. And it's it's by Friday. You know, I got some good deals on uh, some computer monitors. I got a streaming camera because mine broke. Um, I got a laptop for Jeff because Jeff's been using his personal laptop at work. And uh, so I got him back on, on using his, uh, hopefully using his new laptop so he can take his, old, his normal laptop home because that's really not fair to him. Um, Fanro, Mark Shrimp Tanks is that Scottish guy that lives in Norway? That is definitely Mark Shrimp Tanks. Um, absolutely hilarious. Um, <laughs> he, he is a funny, funny dude. But, uh, yeah, go check out Mark Shrimp Tanks because he is a uh, – he is a funny dude. Yeah, we do have we do have some a couple people live right now. We got Corvus Osin, uh, my buddy. He's live right now. Joel uh, hanging out. He does live streams every week. We got Dustin uh, hanging out doing a story. He said no wife or qu her kids right now. So uh, that's really cool. <laughs> Dustin's so funny. But yeah, so we got all that going on. Um, but anyway. Let's see what else I got to tell you guys. I know we got tons of other stuff going on. Um, we got a new shrimp order coming in soon. I'm thinking we're going to get it like beginning of December. Um, I actually got to talk to Selene tonight and kind of, you know, get a good one in, um, figure out what we want and what we want to try to make. Um, let's see. It was Mark's Aquariums. Oh, so it wasn't Mark shrimp tanks. that did that video. It was Mark's Aquarium. Um, uh, but I, I, I didn't know. I got to go subscribe to Mark's Aquarium. I didn't even know that was a person. Let's see. Mark's Aquarium. Mark's Aquatics. Maybe that's what it is. Because I see Mark's Aquatics. Cool. Now I got a new person to watch um, things up. Uh, let's see. KMPI82 said, my pH is high, or my KH is high. It's a plant tank with Amazonian substrate, two pieces of Mapani driftwood, and a few Paul Stone slash Pebbles I got from uh, PetSmart. So the reason your pH is so high is because of your KH being high. So you need to find a way to bring that down. Uh, maybe use RO water, remineralize with just GH, and then get your KH down that way. Because you do not want KH um, in your tank. That's really, really going to it's really going to hurt you in the long run. Um, it's just really hard to get your uh, pH where it needs to be and everything like that. So I would highly recommend um, getting your KH down by using a G. So I use Salty Shrimp GH Remineralizer. Um, we, I think we, were, we have it in stock. Here, I'll just show you. All right, so let me share my screen. It's always easier just to walk you through it. <clears throat> so this is what I'd recommend. You come here, you go to supplies, and it's under... Uh, water remineralizer and then it's ruby it's okay okay you shrimp um 
So this is what I would recommend using. I would do your like big water changes just with this and a RO water. Get it to like, um, depending on what you're keeping in your tank, if you're keeping caradinas, I would get this to about 150, 100 to 150 um, with distilled water. Like mix it in, get a TDS of 150 or 100, somewhere in there. And, uh, and then do water changes, like maybe 10% water changes with this. And that will over time bring down your cage. And then your plants should be pulling some KH out of the water and things like that. Um, so that is what I would recommend to do. Um, but yeah, well, uh, if you need help, I'm more than willing to help out. Dwayne Quitchell said, what kind of ponds are you going to use in the new room? Uh, we're actually going to do the Laguna ponds. We actually have those in our, our current new room. Um, so this is going to be the new, new room. Um, so the, the newest room that we have now, we have seven of the Laguna ponds. Um, I think they're, again, I think they're 100, 125 gallons, something like that. And uh, they really, really do work work good. <laughs> War Phoenix Plays says, oh, my God, I'm in a Black Friday parking lot, LOL. Or parking lot, I'm so nervous. Wish me luck. Good luck shopping today. Um, it should have calmed down, though, by now, I would think. I would think it wouldn't be as crazy now. Um, but you never freaking know. Let me make sure Amanda's not locked out of the house. Because if she is, she is not going to be a happy camper. Oh, Amanda's home. Let me go let her in real quick because I locked the door. One second. Sorry for keep leaving you guys. I am officially back. Um, so they just got back in the door. Um, CMPI82, can I call you sometime, Rob? I have your business card that you gave me at the card experience. Sure. You can always give me a call. I don't always have a lot of time. Um, but if you call me, I can always give you five minutes, talk you through something. Um, yeah, that is perfectly fine with me. Um, CMPI82, will CCAM equilibrium work? That's why I currently have. I would say no, um, because if you're if you're using it now and it's not working, I would say it's not gonna work. Um, Vubu, <laughs> I love that name. Vubu said, "How to drop any on leaves in your tank for shrimp, but I don't want tannins in the water. Uh, you can boil the leaf first, and that'll take out a lot of the tannins, and then put it in. I would say that's a good way to do it." Um, JC said one big leaf in a 10 or 20 gallon doesn't show any tannin color. I could, um, but yeah, you're right. It most likely will not. So you're going to go that way. Um, Cape Cod says at Diesel Weasel, I use Aquabit for my fish now and I purchase plants from Aquarium Co-op. Um, that's good. You got to support the, the family that we have. Um, the fish fam, as we say. So always support, uh, always support the fish fam if you can. Um, because, you know, that's that's why we do what we do, right? Uh, we're here to support each other and, uh, and help each other. Like, um, you can see a lot of us, um, a lot of us YouTubers um, talk about each other, talk about each other. We do live streams together. We do things like that because um, this hobby is all about supporting one another and uh, showing each other love, everything like that. So um, we're trying to grow the shrimp fam or the fish fam or, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and that's how um, we do it. We just have fun with it. So, yeah, it's it's cool. It is. Sorry, I'm just chewing, just chewing on camera. Um, what else is new for Flip Aquatic? So, we did add a lot of new products to the website, which I know I talked about a few times. Um, so, let me go through here. I got a list of them because I was crossing them off as I did them. We added sponge filters. Um, we got some new Tantora products, which we got the Catapa bark, the Catapa logs, 
and uh, the ready mulberry leaves, which I didn't talk about those yet. Um, if you guys ever feed mulberry leaves, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a good way to do it. Like they're, they're really good leaves. Um, we added general cure erythromycin and ick X to the website uh, because those are medicines that we use to treat the nano fish that we got in. Um, so those are really important. Uh, we had some test kits to the website. We added the, the five in one test kit. Um, we had the GH and cage test kit. And then we added the master test kit, which comes with a lot of stuff. Um, we added some driftwood. We added the, the our, we added the stone, not the driftwood, uh, Siru stone, uh, dragon stone and carved lava rock, which I think are all really good choices. Um, we added driftwood to, uh, to the website. We added, what was it? Spider wood and then uh, Mapani wood. Um, and then we added t-shirts to the website. You guys can see I'm, I'm rocking one of the purple ones. Uh, these ones aren't up on the website. Only red is up on the website now. Um, but we do have those on the website. I want to say we're sold out of smalls, or at least really close to. And then a lot of the bigger sizes were sold out of. Um, we added, oh, this is cool. We added gold and uh, ivory mystery snails, um, which we we love our mystery snails and they are freaking cool <laughs> gold ones are my favorite to be completely honest and so uh so those ones have been selling really good today and yesterday um so we added those to the website um we added a a salty shrimp product called herb and bacter um which what it is it's like a natural medicine it has a lot of herbs in it um just to promote health and fight off bacterial infections and then it also has live bacteria in it. So what it does is when you're treating for the medicine, it's putting uh, good bacteria in the water to kind of keep the, the water healthy. Um, because a lot of times ammonia um, will build up or nitrate will build up, and that's what will cause a lot of sicknesses. So if you if you think your shrimp are sick and you go to treat the tank, um, you can you can use something like Urban Bacter where it's increasing the amount of live bacteria in there while also treating uh, the tank as well. So those are really good things. Um, we got in some shrimp lollies. These are really cool. They're they're literally like um, oh, what are they called? Like skewers, like wooden skewers. Um, and what they do is they dip those into basically it's like an algae, like a spirulina powder uh, mix with gelatin or something. And they dip it in there, and then you stick it in the tank, and literally the shrimp crawl all over and eat it. And that's why it's called a shrimp lolly because the shrimp are all over the stick eating, and it looks like a shrimp lollipop. So at least that's why I think it's called that. Um, and then the other thing is we added salt uh, to our to our website because we use that to treat a lot of parasites. Um, it just promotes good overall health. It fights off like Vorticilla and Scutarelia, uh, which I think it's Vorticilla japonica or maybe it's Scutarelia japonica. I don't know. But salt is really good for that. So those are a few things that we added. Um, let's see. I know somebody asked a question. Um, CPI... Her CMPI82 said, you can use CCAM Purgen to remove tannins from my tank. Makes a big difference. That is good to know. Um, let me see. Um, Diesel Weasel said, looking, or uh, Cape Cod actually said, looking forward to purchasing some shrimp from Rob. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate all the support you guys give me. Um, Voo Boo said, Rob, I found some baby snails from your guppy grass. Do you know what they are? Just curious. Most likely, they're rabbits, or not rabbit snails, uh, ram's horn snails. Uh, Alien said, can ghost shrimp mate with colored shrimp? I have a tank with ghost shrimp and blue shrimp and pumpkin shrimp, and they are getting pregnant. Oh, I'm going to be a grandma. That's hilarious. Um, they shouldn't interbreed the, the ghost shrimp with the others. Um, and Kahneman's uh, said, does the coupon only apply to a few items on the website? And then they change every day. Uh, when will the Bloody Mary shrimp be on sale? Did I do this wrong? So what happens is the coupon code applies to everything on the website. Um, so if you type in thanks17, all one word, um, it's thanks and then the number 17. Um, if you type that in at checkout, it will take 17% off of everything. Um, the, the door busters, which are like the Black Friday big specials, those are discounted 20% off. And then you get 17% off of that. So what happens is people that just come to my website from the internet, um, they don't know that there's a 17% off sale. So they only buy like the Black Friday things or things like that that are already on sale. Since you guys are watching the YouTube video or you get our email list or something like that, 
then you get a chance to get the 17% off in addition to the other sales. Um, so that's the way that that works. Uh, but great question. Yeah. So get, you can get 17% off everything in your cart. So you, you go ahead and buy as many shrimp as you want. Um, Oh, by the way, Rob, the bamboo shrimp I got from you at AE shedded today. At first I thought he had died since he was super yellow. Uh, went to catch him on, I went to check on him and saw the old skin and he started moving around. Well, that's good. So he didn't die. So that is a definitely good thing. That would be horrible. Um, definitely want that, want that to happen. Um, JC's tanks. I had someone asked me and I didn't know, but this bloody Mary shrimp never grow any larger than three quarters of an inch. Any idea why? Um, so it's probably a male. Um, if, if your shrimp are staying, like if they're that small, then it's probably a male. The females are the ones that get really big. Um, JJ Colina said, I contracted MTS this year, multiple tank syndrome. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is the funniest thing I ever heard. Um, that, that really makes me laugh. JJ said, I contracted MTS this year, multiple tank syndrome, and the wife ain't happy. <laughs> Anybody else on here in the Tampa Bay area? That is the funniest thing I've ever read. Oh my gosh. Multiple tank syndrome, MTS. I love that. Um, Netavento, Netavento, um, is it best to just net the shrimp or is, is there a way to trap out there that water or that works better? Wow, I murdered that sentence. So one way that you can catch shrimp that you don't have to net them out is my buddy Chris Hardy over at Triton Freshwater Aquatics. Um, he actually sells a glass shrimp catcher, um, which is really, really cool. Uh, it's kind of hard to catch shrimp with, to be honest. Uh, but it is a really good product. So uh, what it is is you literally – it looks like a big uh, <laughs> a big cigar. That's how I'm going to put it. It looks like a big cigar. And so it's like a hollow tube all the way down, and then it's got like a little bent-up tube on the end. And so you literally catch the shrimp, and then you take them out, and then you dump them into a catch cup or something like that. So they never get out of the water. Um, oh. I always say CMPI82, and they said, Rob, just pronounce it Senpei. Senpei. That's actually really easy. Senpei82. I'll have to remember that, Senpei. Um, MTS is real. I'm building out a fish room. Yes, MTS is real. And when it gets really bad, you turn it into a business like I did. So um, that's one way you can get out of it. Uh, girls shrimp wear skirts. That's how you can, t can tell boys from girls shrimp. Amen. That is true. Uh, Indiana here. That is crazy. That's where my wife's from. Yeah, I'm sure. Let's get a show of hands. Who here has MTS multiple tank syndrome? Like this guy, and I'm sure there's a many, 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 many uh, more people in the chat that have it. Um, so that is funny. Yeah, multiple tank syndrome is real. It is a real, real problem. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys are having a good night. Uh, it looks like I froze for a little bit there. Hopefully you guys didn't see that. Um, hopefully it's still looking good for you guys. Um, but yeah, we're just hanging out on a on a Friday night, um, celebrating Black Friday, um, celebrating some Flip Aquatics deals. Um, the big sale was last weekend though. We we sold so many shrimp last weekend. Um, you guys just freaking took us out of stock of shrimp, uh, which is a good thing because that means we get to order more shrimp, which is fun. Cause I get new stuff and I love it. Um, dun, 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 I'm loving it. Name that song or name that company more or less. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, I'm loving it. My wife's going to be so embarrassed of me. She actually brought me food. I was hoping she'd bring it up. Hey honey. Amanda. Oh, they're doing the dishes. Listen, you guys, I'm going to tell you a secret right here. I've had to do the dishes for like a week and a half now, maybe two weeks. I don't, I don't, wanna, I don't want to make myself look bad, but it could easily have been two weeks. Um, and I have not done this in two weeks. So I'm getting like this pile, um, which not a good thing, kind of embarrassing. You know what happens? Um, but I hear some dishes rattling around down there. So I think my wife got tired of waiting for me to do it. And, uh, and my mom's here, and maybe she was like, let's just get these done. So they may, they may be doing the dishes. 
Um, I've literally been so busy working, so I, I haven't been able to do that. Um, I haven't been able to keep up with them them dishes. But, you know, sometimes sometimes you get busy. Sometimes you're not busy. You just got to do what you can do. Um, but fingers crossed they're doing dishes and I won't have to. But if they did the dishes and I didn't, then that means my wife's going to be mad at me. But I'll, I'll take the heat if it means getting them done. You know what I mean? Anyway, I better stop talking before I get in trouble. <laughs> I only wonder what 101 of you think um, when I act the way that I act. Because I don't even know. If I was just sitting here watching some guy talk like this, I don't know what I'd be thinking right now. But I'm glad you guys accept me for who I am. You know what I mean? It is just, it is just a good relationship we have going here. Um, but, yeah, let's see what everyone's saying. So, it's looking like we got a ton of people. Um, Alien has MTS. Uh, we got... <laughs> uh, oh, I forget how to say it. CMP. CMPI. Oh, I forget how to say it. Now I got to look up. Pronounce it Senpai. Senpei. Senpei. Senpi. Senpai. I don't freaking know. I'm bad at pronouncing stuff. Senpai. Senpei. Which one do I like better? Senpei. Senpei 82 has it. Um, Nativinto. Intro. <laughs> Why do you guys make these crazy names? Let's all go change our name to like John, Jeff, uh, Jeremy, Bob, Alex. And now, if we all had those names, it'd be easy. Dwayne is at the MTS for 40 plus years. Um, Kenneth Ben, MTS is bad. Six tanks in my bedroom going up. Oh my gosh, Ken, that is ridiculous. Uh, Redbeard definitely has it. That's awesome. But your wife, your wife allows it, which is really cool. Um, Cape Cod has eight tanks, uh, one on the way. MTS and CT. Man, a lot of us have it. Lane definitely has it. Uh, he just stepped up his game and got. Oh my gosh, he basically got twelve tanks from us today. Oh man, JJ has it. Okay, Rob, gotta go, Pacers. Our play. Oh. Well, good luck with the Pacers, man. Hopefully they win. Dwayne, I will catch you later, brother. You have a good night. <laughs> Sergeant Tank says, Rob, they're totally listening right now and only adding more dishes to the pile. I hope not. Um, con, fron, prawns, and cons. Con from prawns and cons. Con. Conamons. Conamos. I don't know. And con, uh, and con proms cons. I still don't know how to pronounce it. Native Nitro. Oh, that is so funny. Native Nitro. Why don't you put a space in the middle? That makes life so much easier. It's like, put you guys, if you're watching the replay of this, Put native and nitro together without a space, lowercase to n, and try to pronounce it. Um, maybe you guys are smarter than me and you can pronounce it right away. Uh, but this guy uh, tries to like be like native, netavenen itro. Like that's how I look at it. Native nitro, we got it. That's funny. Uh, Alien said, "LOL, if my fiance didn't help with the dishes, he would be sleeping on the couch." LMAO. Yes. So. Um, I've been there before. I have I have been there before. Um, senpi, or Senpai, sen, Senpai. <laughs> Thanks, congrats to you as well at Redbeard Aquatics. What did Redbeard say? Redbeard's my buddy. Redbeard says, can't wait to show off my fish room in a few months. Renovation in progress. Well, I will be excited to see it. <gasps> I hear somebody coming up the steps. It means I could be getting food. Go to channel. I want to see Redbeard's channel. Redbeard, I am subscribed, waiting for you to upload your first video. My wife is here. Baby, will you want to come say hi? <gasps> chicken nuggets. Oh my gosh. Somebody ate my chicken nugget. You see this? Seriously, you need to take these back. Do you do this? <laughs> come say hi. No, I like I've that. been no, you don't. I've been no, talking really about do. you all day. Everyone is like waiting to see you. I don't 
Come on. I like that. I'm not sitting down. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, just for a second. Just, just, just for a second. We'll be right here with you. You look better sitting down. Like that standing up. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> Long day of shopping. What did you do today? Um, we Christmas shopped. Yeah. Are the babies and the bigger babies? We're having a baby. No, your sister. And oh, brothers. Oh, okay. Talk to him, babe. How are you doing? Say, how is everybody? Is <laughs> Ollie on here? No, he already went to bed. Um, yeah. tell me about your new beta addiction. Oh, I do. I went to buy one and I got six. Now I have seven. And what I just get you? But we just bought a PetSmart. Fish. You just bought fish at PetSmart? Mm-hmm. What? Cobra and guppies. <clears throat> no one else. I'm not a talker. Yes, you are. You're the Be best talker. Reader. Yeah, they're probably asking questions. They're like, oh, Amanda. <laughs> they're not. Amanda's here. <laughs> mm. You look how pretty you look. I don't. Hi, everybody. Can hear us back here? Yeah, they yeah. can. Well, you, probably. You should come say hi. They like you the most. They love you. Get mm-hmm. out of here. They do love my mom, though. Yep. Okay. Babe. Hey. What's up to you? What's up? <clears throat> All right, my mom's coming. Hi, everybody. Who do we have here, Rob? Hi. Mm-hmm. If you don't know me, I'm Andrea Roberts' mom, and because we were shopping all day, yeah, I don't look really good either, Robert. No, you look great, Mom. My gosh. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Well, Robert's got these big screens that you just look at yourself at. Looks like I got red splotches all over. Mom, you're beautiful. Anyways. My mom looks like she's 25. We have been shopping since... What time did I pick you up? Ten o'clock. Yeah, we're we were not we're not early morning people. We like to um, both of us wanted to sleep in this morning. <clears throat> so, first place we went was Verizon for Robert to see if there was any deals on iPhones, but there wasn't any real good deals. And then we went to uh, PetSmart and bought all kinds of toys for the puppies for Christmas and cat. and the cat. And then we went to the fish section and Amanda saw some fish that she likes. We grabbed those too. And then we just shopped and shopped and shopped until Robert called us and he said, Hey, you need to get home. So, (laughs) so we came back, but anyways, so we got Robert some things today and I don't know what else, what else is going on? Oh, Hey, this is a cool thing. Like, um, so I, I manage real estate offices, uh, real estate Northwood offices in Mahoning County, which is in Ohio. And I have uh, an office in there. So I told Robert, I need to have one of those uh, uh, little shrimp tank on my desk. So Robert is going to. You're not supposed to tell him. What? Get a kit together for me. <laughs> what? I'm not supposed to tell? That's a secret. Okay, it was a secret, but now all you YouTubers know. And then we're going to do a video, so you'll be able to see how my office is uh, doing and how the tank is doing. And so, um, so Robert's gonna hook me up with that. So I have to take care of it myself, though, because Robert said I have to show that <laughs> just an ordinary person doesn't know anything about shrimp. I uh, could uh, could keep a, a shrimp tank. So I guess I'll be an example for everybody. So let me see. A couple of people are saying hi. Hi, Mom from Denise Sleeper. Hello. Your mama loved him. <clears throat> yeah. Who call, yeah, everybody calls me that. Um, what else do we have here? Need more time. See where Rob gets his good looks. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> Now I'll be redder. <laughs> Some things you got to quit that you shouldn't read, you know. <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, Ryan, hi, Mom. Hello. Rob. Hi, Rob's mom from Ken. 
uh, Deb in Toledo, uh, how the show, it went really good. Um, I, I do, I did have to like, um, I don't know. Uh, I didn't let Amanda spend too much money. Just put it that way. Shopping. So I spent the most money, but it was so fun because I'm not a shopper. I hate shopping, but for some reason, I like shopping with Amanda. We just, we do good together. She has very good taste. So it makes it easy to make shopping decisions. And so I spend a lot more money when we're together. <laughs> so what else? Um, <clears throat> they are definitely worth it, Ryan. Okay, you're talking to somebody else, not me. Um, it's great to see you again, Mrs. Lupton from Caleb Pittman. Well, it's great to hear from you again, Caleb. I can't see you, so um, let's see, Ryan. Uh, what did, Ryan said, okay, I'll watch all your you to your videos. I hit up with a sub. I don't know I what that means. Yeah, okay. Um, I think that's about it. Anyways, you guys are probably bored of, of me being here. So, Rob, do you want to get back over here? Yeah, I'm coming. Okay, Rob's coming, and then be on the lookout out for um, the shrimp tank that I'm going to have in my office, and Robert's going to do a video on. So hopefully keep after him, like, have you done that yet? Um, that way then I know that it, it'll get done sooner than later. So anyways, um, you guys have a, a, a great night. Hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Robert's over here smooching on Amanda, so I guess I'll talk a little bit longer. <laughs> Get out of here. That's PG-13. Hey, but it, mine? <clears throat> no, those ones are mine. Oh, so we brought Robert home some Chick-fil-A. Did um, I get French fries? No, we didn't, oh. get, we didn't get Robert French fries. I'm, we, uh, I'm, on, a, on, I'm on a over. mandatory diet. He was uh, just a chicken nugget recipient today. <laughs> so... Anyway, <clears throat> okay, well, nobody's talking to me, so I'm going to go. Love you guys. Bye. They're <laughs> <laughs> funny. My mom got nervous. That camera makes me look. Is that what my tanks are going to look like? The um, tank on my desk is going to look like? What? Those tanks? No, those are well evaporated. Oh, and it's not that type of tank. Those are a shrimp king tank. Those are 10 gallons. You're only getting like four gallons. Oh. All right, so let's see what we got going on. So, if you guys didn't already know this, Flip Aquatics is hosting a 17% off. Buy one, get one free. No, not actually. But um, but we are having a 17% off sale going on this weekend only. Um, we probably won't have any more like crazy sales through the end of the year. Um, actually, I don't even know when the next holiday is. Probably Christmas. We'll probably do something for Christmas, um, but not that big. Probably just some pictures. You're taking Emma? Downstairs. Oh, you taking her home? You want me to? No, All you gotta do is grab that bone, and they'll both come with you. If you want to take them. I always get <clears throat> anyone that has a beard out there. You'll know that the struggle is real. I always get like little fuzzies in my beard, and I'll be like talking, and somebody will like reach over and like be like, <laughs> "There's a fuzzy." <laughs> So I get that all the time. Um, Rob is on a mandatory diet. <laughs> that is the funniest thing. A mandatory diet. That is so funny. And they spelled it Amanda and then Tori at the end. That's hilarious. I am on a mandatory diet. Um, Amanda tells me what I can and can't eat. Not really, but when she brings me home food, sometimes it's a healthy choice. <laughs> uh, you were, If you were to say pros and cons, pronounce the con in – in my name like that. Oh. Con Omus. Conomus. Conomus. That's how you say it. Conomus. Uh Deb in Toledo, Ohio. Deb, you are actually so close to me. You need to come visit. I guess that's no, actually it's like three hours away. Maybe two. Uh Rob, you've got to get your mom's shrimp tank up real soon and show us the steps. All of the steps. I will. I'm actually, this is what I, I wasn't going to tell you guys, but since only the really cool people are listening right now, um, because we're we're a solid 
we are a solid two hours into live streaming. Um, two and a half, actually. So, um, and Konamis, gotta go. I'll see you later. You have a great night. Thanks for hanging out. Um, but the step-by-step -step thing, I think that is a great idea. What we're actually doing is we are coming out with a tank and all the things that go for the tank. And we're going to come up with instructions on how to keep the tank, how to put the shrimp in, everything like that. And we're going to try to make it so easy that anyone who buys shrimp or buys that kit can have success 100% of the time. Um, so that is what we're aiming towards. Now, I don't know if it's possible, but we are going to do everything in our power to make it possible. Um, so that is what I'm working to do. So, do another minute. It's gonna be really cool if we pull it off. Um, I don't know of anyone that's done it except for like NASA made that enclosed sphere with uh, obeola shrimp in it, and then some like moss or something. And those are like inhumane. Like the poor things don't even get to eat very much. What kind of tank are you getting her? We actually get wholesale uh, cubes, so I'm getting her an 8x8. Eight eight. Ooh. Excuse me. Wait, another one's coming. I ate too quick. But I'm getting her an 8x8x8 eight 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 cube. Um, really, really cool rimless cube. And so that's what she's getting. But I will do a step-by-step -step with it and show you guys how to do it. Uh, you should get her a 10-gallon. will be easier to maintain water parameters for a beginner. Um, so, Ken, I completely 100% agree. Um, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make a four-gallon tank that's manageable. And what I want is I want someone to be able to get it for their office because a 10-gallon tank for an office um, is a little bit too much. Um, so I'm trying to get like maybe a four-gallon, maybe a six-gallon, something like that to where I can make it so easy for them to maintain it. All they have to do is like have a gallon of RO distilled water or whatever and just top it off every single day. Um, so it's going to be a test. Um, I think I had something on my lip. <laughs> but, Ken, you are 100% right. A 10-gallon would be so much more easier to maintain. Um, but I just don't think it's 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 small enough uh, to fit on their desk. Um, Caleb, Caleb Pittman. Caleb, this is what I'll do for you, buddy. I know some people, um, you know, they get they get paid on the first of the month. And so it's always tight for money at the end of the month. Um, Caleb, if you want to order some shrimp, um, what you can do is you can like get a shopping cart together of things that you want um, and apply the discount code and then take a picture of it. And then if you do that on the first when you're ready to place an order, uh, just send me that picture and I will do that same price for you. Because I don't I I hate like I hate that this isn't the beginning of the month. Um, because it really does like some people like, you know, a week from now is the beginning of the month and some people like that's, that's when they get their money and it's not, it's not anybody's fault. And usually deals don't happen at the beginning of the month for whatever reason. Um, so I always feel bad when people get, you know, not, not be able to take advantage of a good deal, um, because of financial situations. So if you do want to do something, I will definitely help you out at the beginning of the month. Just take a picture of your cart and then send that to me and, uh, and I'll hook you up. So. Caleb, I know you support me, man. Yeah, I know you placed orders in the past, so I will do everything to help you out. So you just let me know what you need. Uh, Aileen said, not fish-related, but my fiance and I plan on moving to Ohio next year due to work. Any areas you recommend? I'm scared of uh, tornadoes and flooding. Although we are from California. So that's funny. So in Ohio, we actually do not have very many tornadoes. Um, you know, we, we get... I would say once every two years we get a tornado warning uh, in your in our area. So I would say you're good on that aspect. Um, as far as flooding, I've personally never had flooding where I'm from. Um, so I, I don't think it's that big in Ohio. But coming from California, I can see why, why you'd be concerned. Uh, so no, I would say Ohio's pretty good. Um, that depends on where you're moving. Um, Columbus is a great area. You know, Toledo, places like that, like, you can't go wrong. I'm from Warren, which I wouldn't recommend moving here. It's kind of, it's kind of run down, um, but it, it's it's all right. Um, feeling better is in the house. Let's go on feeling better. Uh, watching the stream while cleaning. Thank you for making it so much more enjoyable. Um, that is awesome. I'm making you your cleaning go that much better, which is really cool. 
Uh, today I picked up a ball python. Oh my gosh, chestnut. Ooh, snakes. I like snakes, but man, my wife would not. Oh. Uh, John Bacchanetti, Satetti, Bacchanetti said, "Have to go send some time staring at my release. Uh, have a good night, all. Thanks, Rob. Uh, you got it, man. John, thank you for hanging out with us. Go enjoy watching your shrimp, and uh, we will talk to you soon." Um, Sempe or Sempe eighty two said, "10 by 10 by 10 is four gallons." So that's what they are. They're 10 by 10 by 10. The 8 by 8 by 8 is a 2-gallon or something like that. And then a 12 by 12 by 12 is 7.5. Um, we actually got a bunch of them. If, uh, if you can drive to Warren, Ohio, I will hook you up with 12 by 12 by 12 tanks. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> All I need is one more sub. Leaves Bros Gaming. Um, I don't subscribe to gaming channels. Tyler and Pat bringing you new videos every day. Oh my gosh, you got 2.5k subscribers. Why do you only need one more subscriber? You got 2,568. Hmm, you do a lot of streaming. Let's see one of the videos. Let's see what this one is. Fortnite with subs, row to 3k. That is so cool. I wish I streamed. Game streaming would be so fun. I don't know. Video games are fun to me. I wish I had more time to play them. But unfortunately, I don't. I can make more time. I could. Um, but I choose not to. Um, Flynn Fishform said, "Woo, still live! Yeah, so we're we're still hanging out. We're going strong." Um, <clears throat> man, I keep choking on that stuff. <laughs> well, I hope you guys are having a great night. I really do. That's what life's all about. I hope you guys are enjoying it with some family, to be honest. And if you don't have family, you're enjoying it with family right now hanging out with us um, because, truthfully, we are all family. Um, the fish fam, the shrimp fam. Uh, so it's really cool. I I honestly love the community that we have. Like, absolutely, absolutely love it. I think that we're uh, doing a really, really good job uh, to grow this community. And I think there's some awesome people that are just – really making it work so super proud of everyone that's a part of it um i'm super proud of the people uh like if i had to give credit to anyone it would be aquarium co-op because he's kind of the one that kind of brought everyone together uh which is really really cool so huge shout out to aquarium club even though i know currently he's either shipping or he is uh on his way to hawaii uh, to have a little bit of vacation with his wife so either way huge shout out to him love the guy um, just really, really awesome. Um, Senpai says, are you going to be visiting your in-laws soon? I can meet you in Terre Haute or even better on your way like in Indy. Uh, I can do that. Senpai, or Senpai, I forget how to say it. Senpai, send me an email, rob at flipaquatics.com, and say that you want some 12 by 12 by 12 tanks. Uh, we are actually going to Terre Haute, Indiana, um, December 16th. And so, uh, so I would gladly meet you on the way, drop off some tanks. Um, I can get you as many as you'd like. And I'm sure I can get them for cheaper than what people sell them for because they're they're expensive little tanks. Like, let me see how expensive a 12 by 12 by 12 cube is. 12 by 12 by 12 cube. Cube Actually, you know what? They're actually pretty cheap. Wow, I didn't expect them to be that cheap. $31.99 on a deep blue professional rimless cube tank. Free shipping. Wow, that's actually really cheap. I'm jealous. I thought I got them cheap. I think I get them for like 30 bucks, but that's wholesale. Really cool. Head Bath & Beyond. I can't believe they sell so quick. Thank you, honey. Look what she brought me. Lemonade. 
What are you doing, baby? Debriefing. Mostly doing what? Why? Is it dirty? No, it's not. I clean up. <laughs> My wife fell off to me. All right, let's see what else we got. Sorry, I got distracted. But yeah, 12 by 12 cubes are actually cheap online, which I'm shocked that they're that cheap. Um. Oh my gosh, Senpai, I'm currently watching you on three different devices and two accounts. I'm also Caleb Pittman. Oh my gosh, I didn't know you were Caleb Pittman. That's so cool. You should be on Caleb Pittman profile thing. Then I know exactly who you are. That's so funny. I had no idea. I've blown too much this year, Rob, but I will be getting some shrimp from y'all after Christmas, definitely. I'm not very active on my channel, but have to say thank you to uh, Freeman's Aquatics. Thank you for tuning in, man. Drop in a comment. That's always good. Uh, Jordan Ryder says, darn, just check the site and no orange-eyed blue tigers available to take advantage of the Black Friday sales. Oh, well. Hope you have a good Thanksgiving and a Merry Christmas. Actually, Jordan, we do. We do have orange-eyed blue tigers available. Um, I don't know if we have them built up yet. Let me see. Hmm. So we do definitely have orange eyed blue tigers available. Um, if you want, I could put them up as royal blue tigers dash striped. Um, and send you royal blue tigers. I don't know, but we definitely do have some available. Oh, that was the 8x8 that I saw. Let me see again. 12 by 12 by 12 cube aquarium. Oh, you're right. It was the 8x8x8. By eight by eight. You're right. Now I got to find a 12 by 12 by 12. Oh, you're right. The 12 by 12 by 12 is $90. That's ridiculous. That's acrylic, though. Here we go. Um, on Bulk Reef Supply, they have a 7.5 gallon cube tank, standard glass, Mr. Aqua, for $42.49. Which, okay, that's, that's, that's more like it. 12 by 12 by 12, 7.5 gallons. They say it's free shipping, maybe. <clears throat> oh, it's a Black Friday sale, so it's seven point five dollars off. So it must normally be fifty dollars. I did here. I'll share the screen with you. Not that I'm supporting Bulk Reef Supply because I mean I'm I don't mind them, um, but I'd rather you guys buy from like small businesses. Um, let me share. Share your screen. So, Caleb, this is what I'm talking about. It's a, uh, let's see, 7.5 gallon cube tank, standard glass, Mr. Aqua, $42.49. I think it was free shipping, I believe. And it's 12 by 12 by 12, 5 milliliter glass. I mean, I would say that's it. I don't know. That's not a terrible price. Like, I can get you one for cheaper, but like I, I could sell them for 35 bucks and I make five bucks. I'm fine with that. Okay. See, I helped you out. Now, now you don't have to meet out with me if you don't want to. Um, Jordan Ryder says, yeah, if we can get some something figured out for the orange eye blue tires, let me know, please. Would love to place an order. Um, ba -ba. Yeah, Caleb, here's what I'll do. I'll do it right now. Uh, Caleb, how many How many are you looking to get? What the heck did I get on me? Caleb, if you tell me how many you're looking to get, I will go put them on the website now, and then you check out if you want to. That way you get the 17% the off. Ooh, that was loud. Weird. Look, I just wanted to go take a drink. And it's, it's, it's sealed shut. <laughs> what the heck? This is my luck. This is my day right here. 
Now I need to find. Oh, this is gonna be dangerous. Dun dun dun. All right, I know this is not safe. Okay, this is dangerous. I got an idea. You guys are gonna be a part of this. If I cut my finger off, there's 101 people watching how I did it. Now that's called having an audience. Watch this. <laughs> now I'm gonna put that. Well, now I'm gonna get piece shards of straw in my mouth. Problem solved. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's called ingenuity. No, I, I don't know what that's called. It's probably not ingenuity. Um, Royal Blue Tigers. That's hilarious. King Lee saw Royal Blue Tigers. And he's like, well, I'll get some. Um, <laughs> Lumpy Dog. Bulk Aquarium Purchase and Flip Aquatic Meetup. What? Um, <laughs> Amanda probably did do it as a joke. Uh but yeah, Lumpy Dog, no. Um, Caleb Pittman, uh, Senpai82, wants some uh, 12 by 12 aquariums, uh, 12 by 12 by 12 rimless aquariums, and I have a way to get them. I can get them for like, I, I basically get them for 30 bucks, and I can sell them for 35. I want to make a little bit of cheese. Um, and then, uh, so he was talking about me meeting up with him and dropping a bunch of them off. Uh, but yeah, so I have orange eyed blue tigers. And I was going to put them up as Royal Blue Tiger Calls um, so that, who is it? Uh, Jordan Rogers can get some. But I'll just put them up a little bit anyway. Let me see. Products. Jordan, you got it, man. Royal Blue I have at least 10, so we'll be able to hook you up. And they're pretty nice, too. Ooh. Just so you know, they're 19 bucks. I didn't know they were that expensive. I'll drop that down. I think that's too much. Drop them down to $17.95 for you. And 17% off of that, which I don't know. And puts them like 15 bucks. All right. So they're officially on the website, Royal Blue Tigers Striped. Let me see if it comes up. So share screen. All right. So here's what they're under Royal Blue Tigers Striped. And then I, they're under imported because they are imported, just so you know. I do have some USA bread ones. I don't think we have enough to spare. These are the, the Royal Blue Tiger calls that we were selling. They're so gorgeous. Like, oh, I love them. So we need to get some more of these in. Um, but anyway, yeah, so USA bread are sold out, imported. You got them, seventeen ninety five, And then uh, I put 10 of them in there if you want them. Thank you, uh, thank you for your order, man. I really do appreciate it. Black Friday door busters. All right. So, again, if you guys just tuned in, it is Black Friday. We are hanging out. Uh, Flip Aquatics has 17% off our entire website. Use the, the coupon code set or THANKS1717. Um, it's all one word. You get 17% off the whole website, including, including the door busters. Um, which we have the only for tonight, and then it goes the new ones tomorrow. Um, I gotta figure out what the new ones are gonna be. But it's gonna be Dragonstone, Seer Stone, Carved Lava Rock, which Carved Lava Rock is actually really cool. Um, just real quick, what Carved Lava Rock is first of all, Lava Rock has so many crevices in it, uh, it's a really porous stone, so it's gonna create tons literally tons of surface area for biofilm to grow and a beneficial bacteria, uh, and also different types of algae. And so that is an amazing one for shrimp, just for the fact that there's so much grazing that can happen there. Um, we also have Mapani wood. Spider wood is probably my favorite thing that's on sale right now, besides the Siru stone. 
Um, spider wood has like it creates biofilm like it's its job. Um, so that is amazing for a shrimp tank. So I would highly recommend that. Um, Malaysian driftwood small. Oh, Jordan Rogers, before you put in your order, well, I'll remember, but actually I'll remember. But if you can, put orange eyed blue tiger in the comment section when you place your order, just in case. Uh, we also have Malaysian driftwood, uh, Malaysian driftwood three pack, and uh, some choy wood all on Black Friday at Zor Buster for today only. <laughs> oh, man, was that sour. Whoo! Chick-fil-A got some good lemonade. I'm telling you, that is some sour stuff. Will loves shrimp said, order some of your Dragonstone over co-ops. Yours was a better deal. Can't wait till it gets here. Yeah, so we just had a bigger sale on it. He does have a good product, so um, definitely still support the co-op. Don't want to be don't want to be taking business from my buddy. Um, but definitely, as long as you're supporting the the fish fam, that's all that matters. But thank you so much for the 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 order. Oh, Caleb Pittman said, Rob, I bought one of those. A little crams Amanda told me about the top fin came 0.5 gallon tank. Upon further research, I see that it may be too small to keep caradinas in. What do you think? So um, I would say it is definitely possible, um, but it is a small tank, so you got to be constantly topping it off and paying attention to it. Um, <laughs> Kang Lee said it's a race to see who gets the orange eyed blue tigers first. I have more if someone else wants them. Um, that's up to you guys. But I, I definitely have more. I think we have like maybe 40 that we could sell. I just I, I haven't put them on the website because I kind of like them. Yeah, I'm kind of attached to them. I'm, wait, I'm waiting to see if they breed and then, eh, then I might get rid of them. I don't know. Um, but yeah, the 0.5 gallon, you could definitely keep it for Caradina shrimp. It's just one of those things that, you know, it, if, you, if you're on top of it, it might not work. That's all I'm saying. Um, like, like these tanks back here, 10 gallons, obviously they're not doing good because I don't take care of them. Like that's like inches of evaporation. This one has like of six inches of evaporation. Like what the heck? Um, everything through Christ. That is an awesome name. Uh, thank you for having that as your name. I love that. Um, everything through Christ. What is a good size tank for shrimp? I would say 10 gallon is the smallest that I would go on average. Um, I think 20 long is like the best, the absolute best. That is just me. Ooh, you know what we gotta do? I'm gonna tell you here in a second. I gotta, I gotta do this thing. Hold on now. Um, create. You guys are gonna like this. Just wait until I tell you what it is. <laughs> you are gonna like it. Here we go. Unlimited number of times it can be used. All right, so. We are doing another free shirt giveaway. Again, it is only for one person, although it may work for two people. I don't know. The last one worked for two people. This one might work for two people. So if you guys go to our website, if you add a Flip Aquatics t-shirt to your cart right now, and then you go to hit the checkout button, and you type in free T2, you are going to get a free t-shirt. The first person to do it gets the free t-shirt. It might glitch. It might work for two people. It might work for three people. I don't know. Um, but it's good for one person. It's free T2, F-R-E-E-T, two, all one word. And uh, the first person to do that is going to win a free Flip Aquatics t-shirt, um, any size you want, limited to the sizes that we have left in stock. Um, but, yeah, so that's what you guys go. So go do that now and uh, see if you guys can get yourself a free t-shirt. Um, I, I, again, I don't know how many people are going to be able to get it or not. Let's see. I got to wait to see if it comes in.
Um, Alex, thank you for the order. I just got your order. You said you had two other orders. Um, we might be able to fit that uh, all into a package. I'll have to see. If we can fit it all into a package, I'll definitely help you out on shipping, I promise. Oh, one of the puppies wants to come in. Let me go let her in. But yeah, first one to get the free t-shirt wins. It's the race. It's the race for the free tee. Who's up here? Oh, was it? All right. So let's see. The free t-shirt race begins. Caleb Pittman. Caleb is number one. He was the first person to get it. Thank you so much, Caleb. Free T going to Caleb Pittman. It couldn't have gone to a better person. Not even, not even to make sure that discount code isn't, isn't working anymore. So that's how the free T-shirt works. Disable, disable, good to go. Good job, Caleb Pittman, getting there first. That was quick. You got there quick. I wish I had better internet. Fortunately, I do not. It's supposed to be the best, but it's not. And you, know, you just got to live with it. Um, what do you guys, this is a good question. I have an idea of what I want to put on sale tomorrow. But I want to ask you guys, what do you want to see for a door buster? Um, like, and, and you don't have to name one product. You can name a type of products. Um, you know, whatever it was. Like, it could be uh, filters. It could be matten filters. It could be tank dividers, um, it could be shrimp king food, um, it could be Tantora products, it could be glass gardener food, um, it could be snails. We haven't done a Black Friday sale on snails before. So it could be a lot of things. Oh, that's awesome, Caleb. You're going to hang it on the wall room? That's sweet. Ohio Tiger Shrimp normally do okay with new Caradina water, except Tangerine Tigers normally. Yeah, so Tigers normally do do good in Caradina water, maybe a little bit softer uh, than typical Caradina water, but they usually do do good. That is 100% correct. Kang Lee knows what he's talking about. My buddy. Uh, JH Aquinas says, do you have Yellow King Kongs? We actually do have Yellow King Kongs. Um, I just don't have them on the website, to be completely honest. We have a bunch. We have probably like two, 200, 300. I gotta write that down. I always keep forgetting to add them. We will add them up. Um, so shrimp salt. Oh, that is a good one. So shrimp. Shrimp. S S G H. So we got shrimp king food. We got shrimp salt, which is the remineralizer. We got man is smiling face on the live stream. That's a door buster. <laughs> that is true. Anyone who can make a logo, DM me, ask ASAP on Instagram. You know, I don't really know who that is. Let's put them in timeout. You want me to do mystery boxes? I could do mystery boxes. I think that would be really cool. <laughs> mystery boxes is not a bad idea. Actually, I never thought of doing a mystery box. That is a cool idea. Saturday door busters, snail and sponge filters. I do like the snail idea too. Um, if you guys do want to know what the door busters are, um, you can subscribe to our email list. And that's probably the best way because we send emails out, at least like this weekend, like when we do sales, we send emails out first. And so usually people that have our email um, get it, get like the notification before anyone else. Um, so that's how I recommend. But please keep giving me ideas. Whatever you guys think. I can make it work. It just can't be. It can't be shrimp, um, because we did the big sale last week on shrimp. We're kind of sold out on them, um, so we can't do big deals on shrimp. You know, seventeen percent off. 
Um, that's not as good as last week, but it's still pretty good. It, it is still pretty good. I'll order mystery boxes from Flip Aquatics. That's awesome. Take some mystery boxes as a door buster one day. Um, I think that is a cool idea. I mean, we could do, we could do some cool stuff with mystery boxes. Maybe not do any living things in it. Huh. I like it. I could really do a really cool mystery box. Whoopsie. Smell my trash can over. That's a mess. Oh, a mystery box. Do a mystery box, but the box is a 12 by 12 tank. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hilarious. I don't even know how to spell or say hilarious anymore. Mystery, or mystery box seems like a good way to go. So, Rob, I saw on one of your videos that you used to be a youth pastor or assistant youth pastor. I'm a youth pastor and the song leader at my church. Caleb, that is awesome, man. Yeah, I used to, uh, I used to be a youth pastor for, I would say, about eight months. Oh, and I, it was like the most fulfilling thing I've ever done. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, there's nothing better than than ministering to the youth, uh, which is basically the future. Like, like those kids are like what we what we are producing uh, and sending off into the world. And so, like, they're just like a lot of them are lost. And I know not all of you are religious, and that's perfectly fine. Um, that is perfectly fine. Um, but a lot of kids, whether religious or not, a lot of them are lost and really don't know um, who they are. What the heck is that? Oh, that's my straw. This is trying to cut off. I was looking at it in the mirror. Um, but anyway, not the mirror, the screen. So a lot of kids are just so lost. Like our youth, um, they just have so much going on in like their world. Like even when I was a kid, like we really didn't have cell phones. And so like we didn't really have Facebook or anything like that. Like that kind of all happened after I got out of school. Um, so now the kids, like everything is just through, you know, technology. And it's a whole different struggle. Like things are so much more accessible than they used to be. Like. Um, things are much more acceptable than they used to be. And so there's just so much stuff. Like kids just don't know who they are. They don't know what their identity is. They don't um, have that that communication like me and you do. Like to them, like text messages, everything. Um, and so it's just really, really tough on our on our younger generation what they're going through. So um, it, it will be interesting how the next couple of years play out or the next 20 years and, and how big of a change it's going to be. Um, but yeah, so being a youth pastor was just, or I was assistant youth pastor. Um, it was, it was cool. It was, it was, it was fun being able to be with the children, be with the kids, love on them and kind of be a good example for them. Cause that, that is one of the most fulfilling things ever. Um, everything through Christ said you should do a shrimp startup kit. Um, we have one, we have a shrimp, I think it's a shrimp essentials kit, which is pretty good. But yeah, like a kit that has everything in it. Hmm. We could do that. We're coming out with some really good stuff. Caleb Pittman said, yes, indeed. Nothing feels as rewarding uh, than when a teen changes and starts serving the Lord. One of uh, my many teens even started preaching sermons. Yeah. So it's just absolutely awesome. Um, I agree completely. Redbeard said, we need more positive influences in the world, such as you, Rob. Thank you for being true to your beliefs. Uh, much respect. Thank you so much, Redbeard, man. Really, really enjoyed meeting you at the Aquatic Experience. And I mean that 110%. So it was really awesome meeting you and your wife. Uh, Freeman's Aquatic Sense, think you will still have many slain galaxy pinos after Christmas. I'm itching to buy four or five. Sorry, just nerdy now. <laughs> that is that is okay. Um, I, let me look right now. I'll tell you exactly how many we have left. Um, we actually might not have any left, to be honest. Let me look. Um, galaxy. Okay, so we should have, based on how many we have in stock, I would say we have about 30-ish left, maybe. Um, maybe a little bit less. Um, so should we have some at Christmas? Maybe. Um, maybe. I, I can't tell you for sure, but I would say Maybe. Ruby, you should see Ruby in her little diaper. <laughs> She's so cute. Is it pink? Oh, Ruby got a pink diaper. 
They're funny. Dogs are the best. Um, kids need Jesus, love, and healthy hobbies like this. I agree. Um, I mean, kids just need a good figure in their life. I um, mean, that could be Jesus, or that could be someone showing them Jesus. I mean, it could be a lot of different things. Kids, kids need that. Um, two of my te teens started uh, doing mission work and outreach. That is awesome, Caleb. I love that. Uh, through Christ, Rob has shrimp starter packs. <laughs> oh, I was reading it, not at kid. That is so funny, King Lee. Um, everything through Christ. I just read through Christ, Rob has shrimp starter packs. Um, Caleb Pittman, how? about a mystery box full of mystery snails. No, so not everyone would be able to keep mystery snails, so I gotta do without living things. Um, I think a shrimp starter kit would be awesome if possible. Yeah, let me write that down, shrimp, shrimp starter pack. I think that's really good. Thank you, good sir, for checking, no worries. I'll check regardless, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are welcome, Freeman. Um, what else was I going to do? Hmm. I was going to tell you guys something positive. What was it? Hmm. I don't remember now. Go figure. But I don't know. But anyway, I will do something cool for you guys. I might do the mystery box. I really like that. And maybe another day I'll do like the uh, the shrimp. Uh, what's it? Shrimp starter kit, maybe. But all right, let me see. If we got anything else going on? I don't think so. Jordan just got your order. Thank you so much for the order, my friend. Um, really, really do appreciate that. <laughs> Website says you have 38 galaxies in stock. Yeah, I'll, uh, so the thing is, when we, when we have things in stock, um, uh, it doesn't always mean we have that many in stock, which is tough. Um, like... For example, like shrimp dye, right? And not always do we go in and we like edit it like, oh, like, you know, one shrimp dye today, two shrimp dye today or anything like that. Um, so what we do is after we have a big shipping day, we reevaluate that week and then we update the website. So all our numbers are constantly changing. So like you could one day, it could be like you there's 300 shrimp left and then the next day there's zero, like they're out of stock. So it does happen that sometimes um, – you know, things go in and out of stock pretty quickly, depending on um, how our inventory is on the backside. Like sometimes, with whenever you're dealing with live animals, you're never going to be spot on every single time. How many shrimp can I fit in a half gallon? Honestly, I would say three or four it would probably be safe. Um, but yeah. It seems like the mystery the mystery box will be good. So maybe I'll do a mystery box for Small Business Saturday. Um, I think that would be really cool. And we can do everyone a little different or do a little stocking stuffer, or stocking stuffer type things. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But uh, that, is a, that is an interesting idea. I'll have to build that out. Huh. What's a good price for – how much would you guys be willing to spend? That's a good question uh, for a mystery box. So, like, I don't want to build one and be like, oh, I'm going to do some really cool stuff, and it's 50 bucks and no one gets it. So I'm thinking, is $19.99 a good price for a mystery box? Or should it be cheaper than that? Because, I, I mean, we can put it at any price, and then I'll just put things in there that, you know, get it up to, like, being a value of – you know, if it's $10, like, I'll get a value of 15 or if it's $20, I'll do a value of 30 or so on and so forth. Um, so you guys will have to tell me what you think. Devin Toledo, Ohio said, tools, chula wood, sponge filter, Indian almond leaves. Um, yeah, those are all good things to have in a shrimp starter pack, for sure. For sure. But let me know what you guys think on the mystery box. What is a good price for it? Because you guys are you guys are my, mar my market research. 
you guys are gonna be like, no, it's a stupid idea. Or, yes, that's a great idea. Because I can love the idea, but unless other people love it, then it's never gonna work. That is that is the truth of the matter. But let's see. Anyone else having leftover turkey for dinner? Or right, leftover turkey dinner hangover? <laughs> That's hilarious. You're still struggling the next day. Okay, if your dad used to own a pet store, that's really sweet. So now I know why you are you are into it. Lumby Lumby Doc said 25, 50, and 100. Four different tiers. That would be insane. <laughs> that would be cool though. All right, so we're getting some some good feedback. We got twenty is a good price from Dan. Uh, Dan's in the house. What's going on, Dan? I didn't even know you were here. Shout out to Dan, Dan the man. Good price for mystery mystery box. We got two people at twenty five. We got two people at twenty nine ninety five. Let's see. Don't you already have a shrimp starter pack? I just bought it like three weeks ago. Yeah, we do have a shrimp starter pack that comes with shrimp, but I think she wants like a complete pack of everything you need for shrimp all in one container and not have the shrimp with it. Thank you. We got another person for 20, two people for $20, two people for 25, two people for 30. It looks like we're, we're all tied up now. We need some door busters or we need some uh, deal breakers. We got, we got about 80 people here that could give us some feedback. Let's see if we get it. This, this candy is so good. We met a lot of people at the party experience. It is really hard to keep everyone straight. Like, Caleb, if I saw your picture right now, then I would know right away. I'd be like, oh, yeah, that was Caleb. I remember now. We could do two tiers of them. We could do two different sets of the mystery box. Hmm. We could. I'll have to think about it. After we get off here, I'll think about it for a little bit, and I'll get one set up for uh, for tonight. And that will be the three tiers, 15, 30, and 50. 10 and 20. We're getting some good feedback. You guys are giving me some good feedback. Thank you. Living la vita loca. It was nice meeting you too. Let's see. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, I'm loving it. Just have a set your own price mystery box or just do a 20 or 50. Oh, I did I did meet La Via Loca. That's awesome. You guys have a that's so cool. Let me subscribe. Live in La Vita Loca. That's funny. That's a good channel name. Let's go to Caleb Pittman's channel. Oh, yeah, I remember you, Caleb. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome that you're a youth pastor, man. I love that. That's that's the good stuff. Yeah, so it's looking like between – most people are saying between 20 and 30. So maybe I do like that. Brandon will do a 25 and a $50 one. I think that's that would be cool. Yeah, but I don't want to say if it's for ten gallon or not. I don't know. We'll do some cool stuff. Yeah, cheap and expensive. Maybe we'll do maybe we'll do twenty five, fifty, and a hundred, and the hundred will be like something crazy. Because people always like three choices, like. You think like you got your low quality, you got mid quality, and you got your high quality. And then most people tend to go with the mid quality. Yeah, that is a good idea. You guys come up with some good ideas. We gotta we gotta do these these four hour live streams more often. <laughs> That's funny. I love it. <laughs> King Lee's like a hundred dollars. I got it. That's funny. Well, they will, uh, they'll definitely be hooked up. So I'll have to think of what I can put in them. 
Um, maybe I'll do something different for him. No, you're not bidding on him. We'll just do, you know, you can get as many as you want, and then we'll, uh, we'll hook him up. I think that is a really cool idea. I don't know who, who came up with Mystery Box. I got to give him some credit. Let's see. Brandon Mc, McClellan, I think that's how you say it. Brandon McClellan came up with it. Shout out to Brandon. He said you should do a mystery, mystery boxes. I think that is a fantastic idea, and we are doing it. Uh, here's what – let's see, Caleb. This, this is what Caleb said. Here's what you do. Make it $20, and they can add uh, multiple to make it $80 or $100 mystery boxes. You could do that. Could do that. I don't know. I gotta think on it a little bit more. It would, I would easily spend twenty five dollars with, without overthinking it. Much more, and I'd rather shop it, or I'd rather shop it myself. I I would rather spend twenty five dollars without overthinking it. Much more, and I'd rather shop it myself. I'm not a hundred percent sure on what that means, Cheryl. You might have to you might have to tell me a little bit more. Yeah, Ryan, I really could try to do a shrimp tank in the in the hundred dollar one. Oh, you guys are giving me good ideas now. This is gonna be good. Two shrimp tank in the hundred gallon one, so you get free shipping. You guys are funny. I'll do it in 1998 so you don't get free shipping. <laughs> no, that's terrible. Hmm. I love it. Oh, I can, I can, I won't. Well, I don't know. I could sell them at cost just for something fun, or maybe, maybe make just a little bit. We'll have to see. I'll have to, I'll have to really put some thought into what I, what I want to do with them. It will be cool though. You guys, that seriously is a good idea. Now I'm thinking of all these cool things we could do with them now. I really like it. Well, you guys are awesome. It's so, so awesome. Um, so, Priscilla, what we are selling is we're actually just talking about what we're going to do for a door buster tomorrow uh, for Small Business Saturday, and we're going to do a mystery box. I'm liking it. I think the best thing to do is a $25, a $50, and a $100 mystery box. And you guys get to pick, and then uh, and then you could do any of them. I gladly spend Kingley's hundred dollars on a mystery box. <laughs> oh, Kingley, Kingley's my buddy. It's just King. I always call him Kingley though. King is definitely my buddy. Um, once a month you do a three month giveaway. Once a month you do a three month giveaway. Oh man, I love giving things away. Hey, let's give away another T-shirt, and then we'll call it a night. Actually, let's give away something else. You guys, I, I feel like you guys already got too many T-shirts. Do you guys want a T-shirt, or do you want something else? You guys let me know. First person to answer is the one that I'll listen to. Do you guys want to give away a free T-shirt or free something else? Let's see. Let's see what somebody says. I'm waiting for it. Somebody got a new PS4 today. God, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Cheryl, that's so funny. I'd buy a mystery box for 25, but I'm hoping to spend 35 or 40. I want to pick my own products. <laughs> I love it. Um, Connor McGatter says, I want to buy, but do you have to sign for shrimp? No, Connor, you do not have to sign for shrimp. Um, they get delivered to your door, um, and then you just pick them up when you get home. Ryan R says, I will for sure buy from you. That's funny. King Lee is buying 100 rounds. That's funny. All right, so we got to see. What do you guys want given away? I can't give away mystery box right now. T-shirt. T-shirt was the first one. All right. Nope, the first one was a t-shirt. So here we go. We're giving away a t-shirt. This one's gonna be a different coupon code, so you guys, you guys can't guess what it is already. 
Let's see. So if you guys are smart, you'll go add a t-shirt to the cart right now. And as soon as I give you the discount code, you'll plug it in and hit boom, check out. Let's see. <laughs> okay, we got it. You guys ready for this? Are you ready for the Flip Aquatics t-shirt giveaway? Okay, we're ready. We are giving away, again, I'll give you guys some more time. I'll tell you real quick. We are giving away a Flip Aquatics free T-shirt. Um, we only have maybe medium, large, and extra large left, something like that. Um, so, yes, go add it to your cart right now. Um, I'm going to give you a discount code. And the first person to put the discount code into the checkout box, into the discount box, and check out gets a free T-shirt. You ready? Let's activate it. Oh, it says it's expired. Oh, I got to make another one. Hold on. Dang it. I guess the, the drama is going to continue. Create a discount. Well, this is going to be a tough one for you guys. I just know it. Go at that. Now, let's do this. Nineteen. Na, na, na. Okay. All right. Limit to one use per customer. Limit number of times it can be used. There we go. One. I think we're good to go. Let's see here. All right. So we're going to the discounts. Oh man, I messed it up. Ah, oh, man, this is harder than it looks. Man, I'm bad at this. All right, you guys ready, though? You got the T-shirts added to the cart, ready to go, because I'm coming out with a discount code, discount code right now. I don't even know what I keep talking about. It's going to be good. I'm excited to see who gets it this time. Uh, T. Sorry, I'm slow. <laughs> What's wrong with me? There we go. I think we're good. Okay, we're good. All right. If you guys are ready. Horseshoe better see ya. <laughs> Robert's master at suspense. Okay. The discount code is flip for life. All one word. F-L-I-P, the number four, L-I-F-E, flip for life. Go, 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 go. First person to get it wins free t-shirt. Just saying. I'm just saying that's a pretty good deal. So now, now the suspense is who is going to get the free T-shirt. Hey, Rob, it's my mom's 50th birthday. Not long in from her party. It's 2.15 a.m. in the U.K. Jordan, you need to get some sleep, man. You are a crazy person. I would be snoozing if it was 2.15 a.m. Unless I was either working or playing some games. I can stay up to play some video games. Ruby. All right, I'm waiting. Nobody placed their order yet. Nobody did it yet. Let's see. Uh oh, let's see if somebody got it. Jordan, what the heck? 
George. George just placed it. I don't even know if George is in here, but George just placed it, and he bought it. He didn't even get the free one. <laughs> George, come on now. Oh, somebody got it. Let me see. Sean Berkey got it. Congratulations to Sean. He's getting himself a free T-shirt. Now I got to go disable it. Sean is the official winner. Flip for life. Yeah. Sean got it. He was the first one there. Sean Berkey, congratulations. Let me type it in so people can see it. <laughs> Darn, got zero and lost it again as I was checking out. <laughs> I'm going to universe. I'm a university student, been up late all week working on my submissions. That's crazy. Uh, Lumpy Dog said, Frozen Rob with the spinning wheel of death. <laughs> Let's see if anybody else got the coupon code. Oh, uh, no. Bill didn't get it. Bill bought one too. Well, thank you guys for buying them. Need more time. I'm George. What happened? George, you bought a t-shirt, man. You didn't get a free one. You bought one. If that's not okay, I can always refund it. You don't worry about that. But, uh, yeah, if if you guys bought a t-shirt, because two people bought t-shirts. Um, let me see. Bill got one and George got one. If you guys bought them and didn't mean to buy them, I can refund the money. Like, I'm not going to take your guys' money. Um, but Sean won the free T-shirt. Although, George, you checked out first. If you had the coupon code, you would have won. But that's okay. At least at least somebody won. Yeah, yeah, Bobby bought it instead. You, you spent 26 bucks. Rob broke the internet. Nobody can go now. <laughs> um, just send me an email. If, if you didn't want it, just send me an email. I'll refund it. No problem at all. Um, I'll take good care of you guys. And then we'll do the mystery boxes tomorrow. Dominic, we probably will get more cherishing before Christmas. Probably. I got to check on how they're doing. We got li River Life in the mix again. Um, yeah, congratulations, Sean. Uh, you were quick, man. It's funny because I have a 30 second delay until I, into, like, from when you guys see me say something, like, I'm actually 30 seconds in the future. You can, if you can picture that. Even though it says live, still 30 minutes or 30 seconds ahead. Kang Lee said, take the money and hide in Mexico. Kang, you're terrible. I'm, I'm, I'm fleeing the country. That's funny. So tomorrow, it looks like we are doing some mystery boxes, which will be a lot of fun. But all right, guys, this extravaganza has been a blast. I think I think we're going to call it quits. I think I don't know. Ah, let me let me run over. Let me do this with you guys real quick. I got to do it. We got the Flip Aquatics 17% off sale going on right now at flipaquatics.com. <laughs> no, we do have the 17% off sale. It's good for everything on the entire website. And then we do have these door busters. So the the mystery boxes tomorrow, they'll actually be 17% off. Um, so that's what's going to happen with that. But here's what we got going on. These are all the door busters. We got some crazy spider wood, Malaysian driftwood, choya wood. Dragonstone, Mapani wood, carved lava rock, which I love this stuff. This stuff is my favorite. The Siru stone. Oh, it is absolutely the bomb.com. Um, wow, Rob, Rob's a time traveler. That's funny. Um, they'll fit in my stocking. That's hilarious. Yeah, so that's what we got going with that. Let's stop. Now I'm back. Um, I may, I may live stream again tomorrow night. Don't quote me on it. I may do the same type of thing we did today, and maybe I'll give away some mystery boxes. Uh, we'll just have to see. Um, I don't know if I can live stream tomorrow or not. 
Um, Caleb, if you're going to call me tomorrow, I would say the best time to call me would be around like 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock Eastern time. Um, or anywhere between 12 and 3 probably. No, the show must go on, Anthony Gomez said. <laughs> Um, thank you, Rob, and especially thank you to all the fish and shrimp fam. You're welcome, Sean. Um, but, yeah, you know what? I'm going to go spend some time with my wife. Uh, she's been gone all day, and I think she works tomorrow. Um, she actually works tomorrow and Sunday, so I'm going to go spend some time with her. I love you guys. You guys are the bomb.com. Thank you for the great ideas. Um, thank you for everyone who placed an order today. Really appreciate your guys' support um, financially and for just being here hanging out with me. Um, that was I mean, it's fun. It's good to just hang out and talk, and I'm glad we got to do this. So you guys make it an absolute awesome night. Get some sleep. Um, hopefully the, the turkey coma is wearing off for everyone here in the States that had Thanksgiving. So much love to you guys. So much love. Thank you. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great night. Later, guys.